Hey everybody, it's Party Elite, welcoming you to a very different type of live stream today. One I've been talking about doing for a very long time, and one that I'm very excited to finally be doing. When we finished our Suzerain playthrough at the end of the year last year, I talked about transitioning over to Disco Elysium once my schedule was starting to make a bit more sense. And, uh, you know, it's been, a, it's been a minute, but my schedule is now starting to make a bit more sense again. And so we're kicking off this promised playthrough. Um, just as a heads up to everyone who's here right now live and to everyone who's joining, uh, watching the VOD, this is literally my first time booting this game up. I have, all I know about Disco Elysium is that it is one of the best games to have released in recent past. Uh, it came out in 2019, and I guess that's what makes this stream a little different from the usual, is that it's not uh, one of the newest games or anything like that that I'm hopping on to showcase. It is, a, it is a game from a while ago that I've been interested in playing. It's also maybe a little different from the usual on the channel, because if I understand correctly, it's got less, like, fewer tactical elements. It's almost purely role-playing with fewer combat and tactical elements. Um, but I thought, you know, it, it's a great chance to dive into an excellent game that I think many of y'all would be interested in uh, based on what you've liked that I've shown on the channel previously. Uh, but yeah, all I know is that it's supposedly, again, one of the greatest games um, that's released in recent past. It came out in 2019, then they did uh, this version of the game, uh, which is the final cut, where they made a lot of improvements, they added a lot more voice acting and stuff like that. That came out last year. And, I mean, I've owned this game since 2019, but I've never had a chance to sit down and play it, despite all the great things I've heard, so I figured this would be a great way to do it and to enjoy it together. With that said, hopefully those of you that have played the game before understand, uh, ideally, <laughs> there would be no spoilers in chat. I do want to have this fresh experience and see what kind of twists and turns come up with it. And uh, I guess, yeah, the, the, what I should mention, just to be fully transparent, is all I know is that this is a super R-rated game. <laughs> I know that uh, it's a little kind of like out there in terms of concepts and it gets a little crazy, uh, which sounds very exciting to me. Uh, and uh, I did look up, uh, it was suggested to me on Twitter that I should look into uh, character creation ahead of time because otherwise this whole stream would be spent on character creation. So uh, I, I did take a look at what the, what the different attributes mean and what the different skills mean so we can hurry through character creation. Uh, if today's stream goes well, if y'all have a good time, if I have a good time, which I suspect I will, then this will become an ongoing series until we finish at least one playthrough. It'll be every Friday starting at this time. So if you like it, don't hesitate to let me know down below whether you're watching live or you're watching it as a VOD. Leave a like down below. Again, if you're watching the VOD, leave a comment as well. Before we dive in and click that new game button for my first time ever, I'm so excited. I want to give a warm welcome to all of y'all in chat hanging out right now. We got uh, Lennon. The Beanie Sue Hacker, we got Naku, we got Ryan Rose, we have 6 x Lord, Artonicus, Aegis, Sergio LP, Presley Bapu, Natalie, uh, we got Blade PHF, we got Voidheart, Jishnu S, Ivilo, Zletkov, Francis, Elijah Velasco, Ted Knight, Papa Nurgle, we have NYC Devin, Wickles, we have with us as well Thomas Couchy, uh, Seamus SS, we have, we have Lee Bid. Hello? All. I hope you're having a wonderful Friday. I hope the week has treated you well, and I hope you're excited for the weekend coming up ahead and for the stream right now. Uh, I saw a mention of uh, any chance of CRPG playthroughs now that this one is a thing, asked by uh, Lennon right at the beginning there. I love CRPGs, and uh, I've, I, want, I, I did a very short stint with Divinity Original Sin 2 way back when the channel was still very young, uh, and I almost did a Wrath of the Righteous playthrough on the channel, uh, but I think life just kind of got in the way, unfortunately, when that came out. Uh, however, I'm very excited for the Rogue Trader CRPG coming up uh, by Owlcat Games. I, I, I suspect it'll use the Starfinder system, I'm not sure. But uh, yes, you can expect CRPGs on the channel, hopefully more often than not moving forward. I do like the genre a lot, and again, they have a tactical element to them, a strategic element to them as well. So uh, you can expect them uh, on the channel as long as, you know, life doesn't get in the way, I guess. Uh, sun is shining, temps are melting, RP session tonight, so overall quite a good day, says Papa Nurgle. That sounds excellent. Yeah, we got the sun back after a rather gloomy couple days here ourselves as well. I love the art style. Oh, if you like this art style, the art in this game is absolutely gorgeous, very painterly. Uh, Captain Top Hat, how's it going, buddy? Waiting for a long time for you to play this game? Yeah, me too. <laughs> me too. Um, making sure I haven't missed... Uh, the, 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 good morning to San Diego, uh, Guy Strickland. And I think I am caught up. Alright, folks, let's, uh... 
Let's dive in. Let's dive in. Let's let's hit the again. I apologize for a, a bumpy road at the beginning if there is one because uh, yeah, no clue what to expect really. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, so right. Uh, okay, I said no clue what to expect, but as I said earlier, I did take a look at character creation um, and, and what that means. So there are three archetypes that we can pick if we don't want to go through the create your own process. It's not as long as a process uh, as I maybe have made it sound, but there are a lot of decisions to make. So I am glad I looked at it a little bit uh, earlier. Uh, the three archetypes are thinker, sensitive, and physical. You can kind of see um, what those archetypes actually mean, but I feel like this does a very surface level exploration of what uh, the character and what the, 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 the game actually entails. So we're going to go into Create Your Own. And uh, while I've not made my guy, I have a bit of an idea uh, of... Well, rather, I have an idea of what I want him to, uh, to maybe be like uh, and, and to play like. So you have a limited number of, um, like, pips, I guess, uh, points. Right, that's the word. I'm still waking up, folks. Uh, you got a limited number of points that you can distribute between intellect, psyche... Psyche? Yeah. Not... Yeah, psyche. Intellect, psyche, physique, and... Uh, motorics. This is the first time I've ever seen this word, by the way. Motorics? Motorics? I'm not sure. Um, I'm thinking that uh, I, I know we're supposed to be a pretty washed up cop kind of a thing. Uh, like life hasn't really treated us all that well and, and stuff like that. Um, so what I'm thinking is uh, I'm not going to be too like strong uh, and like physically fit. Uh, I, I think I'm going to rely more on my like um, uh, IQ and EQ, so to speak. Uh, but but intellect and psyche like th this doesn't this doesn't do it justice. Let's go ahead and hit next over here real quick, so you can actually see uh, some of the more uh, I guess compelling stuff that comes out of these things, and then we'll 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 determine our points accordingly. Uh, I know what I'm going to pick. Actually, let me know chat really quickly. Do you want me to go over what all of these are? That'll take a very long time, or just the ones that I find most interesting, which is what's drawing me to it. I'm leaning towards that second option. Uh, but let me know really quickly if you ha if you feel the other way strongly, and I can go back and 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 cover the ones that uh, I missed. Um, yeah, Wrath of the Righteous would have been fun to, to check out on the channel. A very, very chunky game, though. Uh, watched Divinity recently? Yeah. Divinity was, uh, it was an adventure. Uh, Divinity was, um, uh, was missold to me, let me put it that way, by, by, like, by fans of it. Most interesting, just the interesting. Yeah, don't do the full set. Yeah, that's what I thought as well. We'd spend so much time over here if I did the whole, <laughs> if I did the whole thing. Uh, hot tip. Intellect and, and Motorix is a good combo. Oh, that's good to know. That's good to know. Maybe I'll put a little bit into Motorix then. Because uh, we do have a, a, quite a few uh, points to, uh, 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 to, to spread. Uh, no spoilers, but whatever you do, respect my boy Kim. He deserves it. <laughs> right. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll take a look at the skills I don't pick or I, the skills I care, quote-unquote, less for maybe when they come up in-game. Because, okay, so the way it works is your attributes uh, determine your skills across the board. So you have all the skills, uh, even if you don't, like, spend any points in them or anything like that. I don't know how familiar people are with tabletop RPGs and CRPGs in general, so uh, pardon my general generalities when I speak here. But if I have Intellect 1, that means I have Logic, Encyclopedia, Rhetoric, Drama, Conceptualization, and Visual Calculus all at 1. So when my dice rolls happen, it'll check against that number. Whereas if I go back and I make Intellect into, let's say, 4, making it good, now I have four across the board for all of these uh, skills, and again, one across the others. I'll be able to set a signature skill, which will have one extra uh, point dedicated to it, uh, so I'll be more capable with that at the beginning. Uh, I know clothes and stuff uh, will change your skills a little bit. You'll get like plus ones mi and minus ones and stuff to your attributes, and I think to skills as well, like individually. Um, so I know that happens. I don't know about leveling up and how leveling up works or anything like that. Uh, so what I like on this screen, what, what I'm particularly drawn towards uh, right off the bat are conceptualization and drama. I thought these sounded really fun. So conceptualization, oh, I should mention as well, having any stat too high or having any skill too high will have negative impacts as well, which I absolutely love. I absolutely love that. Um, so conceptualization sounds really cool because it's, uh, it's like, yeah, here. At high levels, conceptualization makes it go big, perhaps too big. It's ostentatious, demanding grand displays. Why live life when you can throw yourself into a live volcano? Uh, so I, I kind of like the uh, just how over the top it sounds. It also sounds like uh, conceptualization is really about finding 
alternative solutions to problems, which I'm always a big fan of. If you follow this channel, you'll know that. Uh, so that, that really calls to me. And drama just sounds fun. Drama urges you to treat the world as a stage. At high levels, drama may render you an insufferable thespian, one prone to hysterics and bouts of paranoia. Like that sounds, that sounds really fun to me. Now, uh, high drama is also helpful for things like deception from my understanding, but low drama means, you know, you can't lie. Cause it, it's a, it's drama isn't just drama as in like, you know, oh, stop being so dramatic. It's also like drama as in acting skills from my understanding. So I quite, uh, I quite like drama and, and, and conceptualization. Um, Go go A into logic and just AFK in place because your brain won't shut up. Really? <laughs> That's kind of funny. There are a lot of quirks I've been told uh, based on what thresholds you cross across the skills. So I'm curious to see what I'm getting and, and what I end up missing actually as well. Um, so I've, uh, so apart from, uh, rhetoric and drama, uh, I said my physique isn't going to be too high. However, despite that, I do like electrochemistry, which is basically like drug resistance or more like, more like sin resistance, your ability to take drugs and, uh, and just go buck wild, just be a complete party animal, uh, and, and resist that, the, 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 you know, influence of some of those things. Uh, so electrochemistry is interesting, but we're not going to pour too much into physique. As I said, uh, in terms of, uh, Oh, otherwise, uh, half light sounds interesting as well. It's unfortunate. Like, there's quite a few physique stuff that isn't just physical strength. So I will put some points into physique. But at high levels, half light makes you ultra attuned to the world. It is perpetual fear of your own shadow, of someone else's name or scent. Like that sounds kind of wild to me. Uh, Inland Empire is also quite interesting. Uh, this is about. Like again, okay, Inland Empire animates the inanimate. You'll have conversations with your clothing, conversations that may change the course of the investigation if you're not thrown in the loony bin first. So like, again, Inland Empire goes beyond the, uh, the, the, the standard expectations of, you know, a real realistic, so to speak. Uh, world. So I, I like Inland Empire quite a bit as well. I think it'll make things quite uh, quite interesting. And I believe suggestion is uh, the ability to charm people and, and convince them to do things they might otherwise not. Whereas authority is a more like a more like intimidation kind of a thing where you uh, sometimes if you're in, if your authority is too high, you might actually get uh, f like forced I say loosely uh, down a path of questioning a conversation because your authority is being questioned and you don't like that. So Intellect and Psyche have some of my, my favorites, I think. Uh, physique has some interesting stuff as well. M uh, mo motorics, motorics is more like stuff like hand-eye coordination, uh, reaction speed. And I should mention reaction speed is pretty cool as well because it's not just about like reacting physically, but also mentally. Uh, for example, in a conversation, apparently, uh, a lot of times, if you have a high reaction speed, you'll have more responses available because you're able to think of those responses much more quickly. And so you're, you're wittier. I just, I love how... Everything here sounds interesting to me, and that made this so challenging. And so it was, it was Jazzy B on Twitter that uh, replied to me and said I should do character creation ahead of time because otherwise I'll spend the whole stream here. And Jazzy B, I know you're not here right now watching live. I think you're, you said you're going to watch the VOD because you're at work today, but you were absolutely right, buddy. <laughs> you were 100% right. You called me out absolutely correctly there. Uh, Spindle, glad you can make it, bud. Uh, so this game has been on the list for a while for streaming. I have no idea what it's about. Oh, it's a, it's a it's a it's a wild CRPG. Uh, from, from what I've been told, one of the best to come out in in recent past. High ratings across the board. Uh, Drama Inland Empires plus Shivers is a lot of fun. Shivers is cool too. Oh yeah, I forgot to explain Shivers. I'll explain Shivers in just a moment. Let me just get uh, these guys ramped up a bit. So intellect. I'm thinking. Uh, oh boy. Maybe maybe. Ugh. So being bad at things is good, right? Being bad at things is fun. If you ever played a tabletop RPG and you're not a min-maxer, uh, you'll know that failing dice rolls can be as good as, as passing them. At least that's my opinion. So you don't want to be, you know, great at everything. Um, what if we do... What, what if we do... What if we do... This. 4-3-2-3. Three, how does, that, how does that feel to you guys? Let, let me know what you think about that. Um, I could lower my physique one more step. Maybe. Uh, I don't want to be like a... I don't want to be pathetic at, at things like doing drugs. Talk about the important things here. I think I just got myself demonetized right there. Um, but uh, but but I, I don't want to be great at things like endurance or pain threshold either. Uh, by the way, pain threshold also reflects your understanding of other people's pain threshold. I gotta, I'm going to have to play this game multiple times, aren't I? 
Exactly. It's all part of the narrative. Min maxing is not the point. Yeah, that's again. I know some people enjoy min maxing. I've I've played tabletop RPGs with people who like min maxing. It's not for me, and I know it's not for me. And it's good to know what is and isn't for you. Uh, right. So Shivers was mentioned as well. So Shivers, my understanding, is sort of like a like a flip of Inland Empire, uh, where Shivers. So at high level, Shivers may make you seem mad to the outside world as you listen to the city. You don't listen to others. Your superiors may begin to worry. With a low shivers, though, you will seldom hear the city speaking to you, and if you cannot hear it, how can you ever save it? It sounds to me like shivers, and I might be wrong here, but it sounds to me that shivers is like uh, almost like passive, where the city speaks to you, whereas Inland Empire is where you converse with the city, I guess is the best way I can put it. Physique 1 can be spooky at the start. Yeah, I don't want to die right off the bat. That's not the greatest uh, playthrough, right? I think this looks good. I see, I see at least one looks good. 4323, uh, Jishnu S. Yeah, good with that. 4224 could be fun. 4224. That's not too far off where we are right now. Uh, Motorix and Intellect. Well, I'm not, I'm not going to make both of those into one. Uh, yeah, I think you can up the stats uh, later too. <laughs> Sorry, I just saw Jishnu S. I don't want to be pathetic at doing drugs. Party Elite 2022. I might need to. Jeez, I might need to print that on a shirt. <laughs> uh, let's uh, let's go. I think four three two three is fine. Again, clothes will change these numbers, uh, and I guess you can level these up as well. So four three two three is a really solid start. Uh, one five five one. Sure, let's do this. Let's do this. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Right, I gotta set my signature skill. I'm thinking conceptualization. It kind of speaks to me a lot. Again, it's uh, it's what uh, it's 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 like. <laughs> I, I wouldn't call myself uh, an art cop, as this game as, as this game puts it. But the idea of coming up with ideas is very compelling to me. Uh, so I think I'm going to make conceptualization my signature skill. Again, all that really does, as far as I understand, is adds an extra. So you can see this is five. Everything else here is four, drawn from the intellect stat. Um, oh, so I got Blade PHF saying yes. That's a great pick. But then I got 6x Lord coming with uh, a, a, a good suggestion as well. If I do Shivers, then that's my lowest stat that I'm helping bump up a little bit so we're able to succeed a bit more with Shivers. Hmm. Chat, what do you guys think? You know, okay, I'm gonna, you know, you know what? I'm gonna make this a very quick, uh, very quick question. Just say really quickly in chat, conceptualization or Shivers? It's gonna be between those two. I'm not gonna think about any of the other options because then we'll be stuck here for another 30 minutes. Uh, what do you guys think, chat? Yeah, 6 x Sword has a good point there. Because, again, that'll make Shivers into uh, 3, and it's still not amazing, but, you know, it's it's average based on how these numbers are are uh, are considered, which makes sense to me. Because otherwise, yeah, if we if we overdo an already good thing, early on especially, it could be troubling. Shiver me timbers, Shivers, conceptualization, Shivers for some variety, Shivers, Shivers. I'm flipping, let's do Shivers, Shivers, Shiver Ds. Oh, dear. <laughs> And Papa, I think I saw you mention earlier that you actually quite prefer when I dive into stuff not knowing what to expect and, and having it all go completely sideways. I'll be honest, there, depending on the game, a lot of the time I enjoy that as well. Because the chaos it brings uh, can be just pure joy, unbridled joy sometimes, right? Yeah, alright, let's do this. Shivers it shall be, that seems to be where most folks are leaning. So let's go with Shivers, let's confirm that, and uh, let's begin. Oh, I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this moment for so long. The Furies are at home in the mirror. It is their address. Even the clearest water, if deep enough, can drown. Now, folks, I will say there's a lot of voice acting in this game, and from what I've been told, it's really quite amazing. Uh, so let me know if the volumes are okay, if the voice needs to go up or anything like that. Uh, like the, the, the desktop voice, like the, the game voice, volume voice, or my voice, let me know. Uh, I'll keep an eye on chat, but uh, yes, let us begin. There is nothing, only warm primordial blackness. Your conscious ferments in it, no larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. Ever. Never. Ever. Never. Ever? Ever? Yes, yeah, voice is fantastic. Never, ever, ever, baby. <laughs> <laughs> An inordinate amount of time passes. It is utterly void of struggle. No ex wives are contained within it. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Give me some more. 
You got it, sweet brother. Nothing upon nothing upon nothing. Right, how about you cough up some more of that sweet oblivion? Coming right up, sir. Smooth passage. Allons-y. Let's go. All right. Nothing town to fuck all, Barra. Oh man, I, <laughs> I'm curious if these decisions make uh, make a huge difference down the line. A return trip to the silence, please. Let's visit the ancient Zero home. Look, there is. I'm tired of being this type of animal, and who gives a shit? <laughs> uh, let's visit the ancient Zero home. Yeah, I'm talking. I'm I'm having a conversation with my with my own self. The ancient reptilian brain is just a. It's like the idea of you know our our most our most base existence uh from 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 the before times the real before times mike right thank you very much for subscribing hope you're enjoying the show buddy if you are again let me know down below hit that like button great choice elder one it has always been like this and it always will <laughs> hold on wait no i need to belittle myself instead hang on a second <laughs> no don't stop keep singing Sing me the song of death. The song of death is sweet and endless. But what is this? Somewhere in the sore, bloated man meet around you. A sensation. Oh, man. Like a fly to the ointment, your conscience sticks to it. The limbed and headed machine of pain and undignified suffering is firing up again. It wants to walk the desert, hurting, longing, dancing to disco music. These are both so compelling. <laughs> I thought I saw someone mention this is like the greatest of all time opening. Honestly, yeah, kind of, kind of feeling like it. Just throws you right into it. Oh boy! Stop! I don't want to hear anything more about this sensation. Take me back to the formless, disembodied nothing. The stench of liquor rises from your mouth. I know it. An ungodly headache. <laughs> I've I've been here before. Help someone cut my head off. It's trying to murder the rest of me. A fiery streak penetrates your skull, trying to force your eyes open. It's a sound. A clarion call from hell. Somehow you know what it is. A caprice to name the road to courage. Alright, so as an example. Um, we just use the encyclopedia skill. So this is sort of like a, a passive check that happened. Sometimes our decisions will cause a check. Sometimes the world and the story events will cause checks. We had a success on a medium difficulty uh, role for encyclopedia here. And encyclopedia is pretty much what it sounds like. It's a skill uh, that determines your knowledge of things. Uh, and the higher encyclopedia skill is, the more like a literal encyclopedia you are. So by the pure sound of this uh, motor, I guess, we were able to identify what it is uh, because of our encyclopedic knowledge of the world and how it exists. Uh, so that's how I'll introduce you to all the skills that we didn't talk about previously. Let me know if that works for y'all. But let's go ahead and open our eyes and reveal uh, what I, I think I've seen. I think I, I think I know what we're going to open our eyes to. Yep, there it is. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh no. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Disco Elysium. <laughs> Last time I played the voice acting was limited, so it's cool to hear the different personas talking to you. Oh, do they not all have voices? Last time? Yeah, see, that's the thing. Um, uh, this is the final cut, so I think everything is voice acted. <laughs> yeah, we've all been there. It's true. Oh man, I can I can feel that that hand on the head. All right, all right. So, um, a couple things we can interact with. I believe it's tab to pull up the thing to highlight 
uh, other things to interact with. Let's go ahead and, and, and peace. Let's put on some pants first. Who's in a rush for pants? What's in this bottle? This magnum-sized bottle of Com Commodore Red is empty. Yeah, well, you don't say. What do we got over here? Looks like someone tore out the tape while the song was playing. <laughs> that sounds like drunken behavior. All right. This reel-to-reel -reel tape player is still on, rolling empty. So I'm understanding these green interactions are like observations, and then these are like pickups and items and stuff, or things to investigate. That's what I'm understanding right now. Looks like we've got a shoe up over there. What the hell? What's this? Oh, empty cassette case. Sure. I'm sure that'll come in handy at some point. Does that uh, do anything? There used to be tape in this case, but it was destroyed in a fit of rage. Something about the Etenia single smallest church in St. Sains must have rubbed someone the wrong way. The label says the song was recorded in 43. All right, sometimes descriptions in these kinds of games can be over-the-top amazing, so I'll, I'll keep an eye out for them and see which ones uh, stand out. Uh, pants would be the last thing I think about. Yeah, the first thing I'm thinking about is, like, where's my bed? I assume this is where I'm living. Oh, I, I guess it's that couch. <laughs> That's the first thing I'd be thinking about. I'm gonna go back to bed. Pants sounds horrible. <laughs> Looks like any Tuesday, says Sergio. All right. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take these boots. So, I assume as... Wait, it's just the one shoe? Oh, okay. <laughs> I assume... There are, oh, okay, it doesn't give any, this doesn't give any stat boost. This green crocodile leather shoe has a high heel and chrome embellishments. It fits your left foot perfectly. Now all that remains is to find the other shoe. All right, very well. Uh, let's go ahead and find, what, is that our tie on the, that is our tie. All right, hold on. This fan has two chain pull switches. One ends in a tiny fan, the other in a light bulb. A truly horrific necktie has somehow attached itself to one of the blades. I like the voice acting. It's very, very varied. Very varied. Um, I think if you hold control, you see everything you can touch. Oh, I thought it was tab. Or are control and tab different? Um, I feel like we should turn the fan off before we try to grab the tie. Pull on the fan. I assume that means the fan switch. The blades come squeaking to a halt. It should be easier to reach the tie now. Holy. Yeah, all right, cool. That's a huge difference. I'm glad I did that. <laughs> you swoop up and catch the tie. Snap. It's released from the blade. All right. Um, again, that was an easy check. That's, that's an example of an, active, uh, of, 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 an, of an active check where you actually know that you're being tested and you do the dice roll knowingly as opposed to what you saw earlier with encyclopedia uh savoir faire uh, i think is uh is like dexterity if memory serves me correctly by the way i love the skill illustrations i think they're absolutely haunting they're very beautiful but i believe yeah savoir faire is uh in, in the case of the game specifically is like dexterity and and more nimble tasks get handled through savoir faire and i guess uh correct me if i'm wrong chat but that's that's what i've that I've, what i've got from memory what you have in your head is a truly hideous thick tie with four or five different patterns. The knot reminds you of a noose. <laughs> That's kind of dark. Um, a man of logic, you will like this game and hate it at times. That sounds that sounds like a that sounds like my kind of love affair. A pantsless pay playthrough. It's tempting, isn't it? <laughs> it's tempting, isn't it? <laughs> Zakith, how's it going, buddy? Glad you can make it today. <laughs> uh, Cyber Fair is is the crawling xenomorph. Uh, you mean like the illustration? It does look a little bit like the, uh, the face hugger, doesn't it? Um, I don't need more light. When you're hungover, light's like the last thing I think about at least. Done with that. Uh, control? Yeah, I guess it's tab. I guess the default setting must be tab. Clothes can wait, man. They just hold you down. They just hold you down. Listen, I'm dressed up enough. I got one <laughs> shoe on. I got, I'm covered where it counts. You see bottles in the bathtub. Wine, beer, and sweet liqueurs. What was I doing last night? Jesus. That's the door out, I guess? No, this is the door out. What is this? A locked door. Very well. What is this? A mirror hangs above a bent and broken sink. In a fierce discharge of masculine energy, someone has ripped half the faucet off. <laughs> oh my goodness, the writing. Hot water sprays from the base, and steam covers the mirror. You cannot see yourself, 
just the outline of a man. <laughs> One shoe and a tie. Let's go. Just like walk out like this. God, what is this game? Ask them. Uh, this is a CRPG unlike any other CRPG. One of the best that came out in recent times, I've been told, uh, where you play a washed up cop slash detective uh, in this like rather horrific uh future dystopian world i guess um yeah <laughs> how, how did our clothes get everywhere I, I, there are questions i don't think we're gonna get answers to some of them suddenly you realize you have no memory of the face that awaits you there underneath the soft vapor uh, is that why our, our portraits like this just a smudge basically um really nothing really all recollection of the person you are the people in your life and even the world you're in has drowned in a sea of blood alcohol. <laughs> this was no mere night of drinking. It was a deluge of world-ending proportions. I love that I guess we have an option to just not find out what we look like. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna let's wipe the mirror. Let's see ourselves. It's a good way it's a good wake-up call sometimes. As you slowly reach your hand towards the surface of the mirror. Abort. You clearly have not thought this through. You won't like what you see there, and you will never unbecome it. That's a very nice voice. I like that a lot. Uh, I don't care. So I have to remember, maybe I should touch it first, make sure there's nothing wrong with my face. All right, let's 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 play up the... I said I liked uh, drama, right? And one of the things about drama was uh, paranoia. I also said I like... Uh, uh, what, what was the other one that I liked? Uh, was it shivers that if it gets too high, you, you start being super paranoid? No, it was the other one, uh, Half Light. So I said I like those, so let's integrate those into our character, right? Because again, we're role-playing, right? So, sure, I'm a little paranoid. I'm a little scared of this voice in my head. Uh, or maybe the voice from the mirror, I guess? Maybe I should touch it first, make sure there's nothing wrong with my face. Yeah, there is definitely something wrong with it. <laughs> God. All right, um, what, what's wrong? Where to even begin? There is the bloatedness, then the swollenness. It's like there's an upholstery of alcohol underneath your skin. Oh man, so I guess you can play the entire game faceless. That's pretty interesting. Love how this sets us up to be as clueless as the protagonist. Yeah, this is nice. This is very well done. Uh, it just sounds like we are like, yeah, we've got that hungover, like that horribly hungover look. Uh, I've never been there myself, I can say very fortunately, but uh, but but I've definitely seen it on people, so I can kind of I can kind of see this. Hold on, I, I, I at least my at least my tongue is okay. It's not. It's swollen and snail-like, wriggling between your fingers. I'm sorry. You are. Your nose feels like a small balloon in the middle of your face. It hurts when you honk it. It doesn't appear to be a particularly tiny nose either. Not with all the drinks it's absorbed for you. Um. <laughs> Wipe the mirror now. Behold. That's friggin' hilarious. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Behold. Oh my god, look at that portrait at the bottom left there. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I look like a hot mess. Jeez, I look like a zombie. Oh, I love this. Uh, oh no. Uh, are we playing a non-save run? <laughs> probably, probably gonna save because if if I don't know how likely it is that we die partway through and then you know it's all lost. Uh, I would do a non-save run if uh, I was going to if if the game had just released and I was gonna do back to back to back runs until we finished it. But this is a slightly more casual one, I think. I don't know, chat. What do you guys think? I, I think we should save. If Santa was a meth head, oh my god. <laughs> Man, this is, oh goodness, oh my goodness. The artist has done a fantastic job on both of these. Oh boy. You have no idea who this thing is, do you? <laughs> this is the face of a late stage alcoholic. <laughs> um, uh, oh boy. Lean into that drama a bit. That, uh, that the, the belief that I'm more than I actually am. Of course I do. It's, um... Is it some kind of superstar? I think I'm a superstar. It appears you're also dead. There's clearly rigor mortis on your face. Oh wait, is that an expression? <laughs> Are you trying to make an expression with that face? Why? <laughs> these these voices, man. Um, 
<laughs> I think it might be because I'm a superstar. Uh, I'm not making it. The face is making it itself. I have no idea why it's there. It just is. Oh, my goodness. No, no, no. I, I, I think it might be because I'm a superstar. Please stop. It's horrible. You're scaring yourself. No. This is what superstars do. You can't, can you? It's like it's not even voluntary anymore. You have worn that grin into your face, and now it won't come off. Man, that's some terrifying narration. Um, I will say, like, I don't know, by the way, just, just, so, just so everyone knows, because I learned this about the game and I find it rather great because I, I like this aspect of RPGs when they do it, but there might have been options in this conversation that I can't even see because my skills are too low uh, or my attributes are too low. I don't know if it applies to this conversation specifically, but what I've learned is that Disco Elysium does that, where it doesn't gray out options you don't have access to, it just doesn't show them to you. So it encourages you to do multiple playthroughs set up slightly differently. At least that's uh, what it was when it first released, if memory serves me correctly, and I'm pretty sure it's still like that, which I think is fantastic. I think that's absolutely fantastic. Um, you know, he, he he's got a he's he's got a bit of a, a superstar look, washed up superstar look, maybe. What does it even mean? What is the emotion you're trying to convey? <laughs> I think it's supposed to look suggestive. I'm afraid it's meant for the ladies. I mean, a little. I mean, I, I guess a little bit. I'm insinuating that I'm vaguely sympathetic. I think I'm sort of pulling it off too, in a sad has been kind of way. There is some charm to it. It's an expression of pain, or it conveys superstardom. <laughs> oh goodness! Uh, every single interaction says blood PHF. Uh, the game rolls passive rolls in every single exchange, and most fail. Amazing! That is amazing. Uh, I'm kind of leaning towards three here. Spindle Giga Chad, aka Santa on meth, aka the Joker's dead. A little bit. Santa's gotta be on meth, right? To get all those toys done in time for Christmas. <laughs> Superstardom? Ah, yeah, true, true, true. Let's, let's, let's stay the course. What am I trying to convey? Superstardom. You should check yourself for a pulse, Superstar. From here, it looks like a cadaverous spasm. <laughs> I don't want to know. No, we'll, we'll check for a pulse. Let's make sure we're alive. Aw, oh, Natalie, superstar to super stud. Damn, missed opportunity. Good point. <laughs> you find no sign of life on your swollen neck. However, putting your hand on your chest reveals an irregular heartbeat. You appear to be alive for now. Interesting. Uh, did I gain that experience because I checked for a pulse? Would I have gained the experience if I hadn't and just finished this conversation? I'm curious. If somebody knows, feel free to let me know. Uh, but all right, so... I've got a couple, of, oh geez, oh no. So because encyclopedia and electrochemistry are both low, um, I'm most likely gonna fail both of them. So this is a white check, you may retry it. So my understanding is there are two kinds of checks. The white checks are the ones you can try um, again, I believe only if you like actually improve your skills or something. And then there are, I thought red checks, which you can only try once and if you fail, you fail and those are the consequences. Um, so yeah, that's my understanding of white checks. Uh, and then red checks, I think, are just the, the, the text, right? Just the plain text. Uh, so electrochemistry, attempt to stop the expression from happening, or encyclopedia, dig deep into your mind to locate the source of the expression. Well, I mean, I am, uh, I, I, I am more inclined towards encyclopedia, right? So let's uh, go with that. If I had a voice like that, I would be sassier too. Yeah, the voices are great. You gain XP for exploring conversations. We'll generally get it at relevant beats. Gotcha, gotcha. If you do fail, some roles can be repeated after if you up a skill or something. Yeah, I, I remember reading about that. Yeah, find your superstar within. All right, let's, uh, let's dig deep into our minds, locate the source of this expression. Come on, baby. It belongs oh! to the new, the third decade of the current century. Enough time had passed from the failure of the revolution that, for a fleeting moment, free market economy seemed like the ultimate, uncontested way of life for our species. Okay. I, I'm not sure what any of this means. It belongs in the new, the third decade of the current century. Okay, so we're in the 30s. Uh, enough time had passed from the failure of revolution that for a fleeting moment, free market economy seemed like the ultimate con uncontested way of life for a species. So uh, I guess there was some political upheaval in this world. Uh, and it sounds like it was a free market economy versus like state controlled economy conversation. Uh, and we went free market 
and it all went sideways. That's what I'm reading here. It's our future, says Spindle. Yeah. <laughs> this is 2030. God. Uh, I'm glad that that role succeeded. This is, this is compelling. <laughs> you need to be this good at drugs to stop smiling. <laughs> hey, it's true. It's like the whole uh, when you're... Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. That, you know what? That, that, actually, that actually rings true <laughs> in some ways. All right. Uh, okay. Things were good. It was smooth sailing. People made gold and champagne-tinted interiors and facades to suit the times, calling this the new style. But more importantly, disco happened. I love it. I love that this game just doesn't explain anything to you. It just adds more questions. Oh, okay, so uh, Blade PHF has an explanation. So white can be tried again if your base score improves, blocks you otherwise. Red must be tried when offered or they are lost and have outcomes even if failed. And generally failing is still progress. Yeah, very much a, yeah. Like, like, like a good RPG, failure, failure doesn't mean game over unless it's, you know, like a, a, I guess like a, a life, like a, like a death save or whatever. Uh, like the 50s in the US maybe. I don't know if this game's in the past or in like a dystopic future. Forever show. Your city. That meant only one thing. Guillaume La Million. It's an excellent name. Revachal. Guillaume La Million. All right. If it doesn't rhyme, you're not pronouncing it right. <laughs> Again, because our drama is so high, uh, we, we're, we are particular about how Guillaume La Million is said, I guess. Fair enough. Out of the dazzling swirl of disco music in an open air, what de nuit? Somewhere in Revachol West, Guillaume's blonde mane appeared on the screen. He sang some bullshit. Then he made the expression. What? <laughs> I'd say it's an alternate reality. True, true. It's like completely detached from our, our, our real world, I guess. Uh, so I adopted it. Why? Okay, I feel the need to add a clicking sound when I make it. Is this going to become business guns? I like completely jokingly made that the uh, the thumbnail for this video, the business guns like thing. But you know how people go when they point at you with the business guns? That's what that feels like. How long ago was the new? Anything else? Like who am I? Why did I drink myself into oblivion? Uh, again, hey, I've got a flair for the, uh, the, the dramatics, right? So uh, I feel the need to add a clicking sound when I make it. The click is used to spur on a horse. It also features heavily in Guillaume Le Million's regional mega hit, Don't Worry, Your Pretty Little Head. <laughs> okay, why did I adopt this? Everyone loved it. Maybe you thought some of the stardust would rub off on you. Maybe it did. Either way, it's all gone now. Only the grimace remains. That's kind of sad. <laughs> Every superstar does the click sounds. <laughs> Uh, okay, but uh, yeah, anything. Who am I? Why did I drink myself into oblivion? You have some understanding of the near history of disco. The rest is darkness. Aside from the useless fact that the motor carriage outside was a Caprice Canema. It's a good callback. I imagine this line changes as well uh, if you'd failed that earlier check when we were able to recognize the motor. And how long ago was the new? So we might not be in the 30s, so to speak. Some 20 odd years, there is a vast ocean of time between right now and the expression looking good on you or anyone. Humanity has run aground in that time. It's a different world now. The expression is a relic. I love it. So yeah, air quotes 50s. I'm just saying that not as like a reference to our real world time, but so we have a reference of where we are in case it does matter down the line. Um, yeah, no, I didn't see anything, but no spoilers, please. Yes, uh, very important. First time I'm playing it, I'm sure it's the first experience for many in chat as well, so let's avoid spoilers, please. Uh, the game is sad in general. <laughs> yeah, I get that vibe a little bit. If a spread of choices have... Okay, thanks, Blade. That's very helpful. It's, it's good for me to know that, like, when I am limited and I can only make one choice versus not. But I guess that's it then. Thank you, Mirror and Encyclopedia Brain. It doesn't have to be. You can swoon over Guillaume and his champagne cork smile whenever you want to. Maybe some of the stardust will return. So I could try to stop the expression from happening, but you know what? I kind of like it. If it makes me a superstar, then why would I not keep it on? 
I'll let the mirror be for now. Thought gain though, Guillaume Le Million. He keeps he says La Million, but it's Le Million. <laughs> let the mirror be. All right. What is this? Oh, is this just kind of like a problem solution research time internalize? Oh, what 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 is what, what is what is this? Uh, Lenin. Oh, I think I missed. Uh, well, so I touched on the uh, the CRPG conversation, Lennon, uh, about games that you might see on the channel. So I did, I did, I did, I did respond to that. Yes. Um, but okay, so temporary research bonus minus one logic head in the cloud. So if we internalize a topic, I guess. Okay, these guys are still locked. That's what I was wondering. So if we internalize a topic, we start thinking about it, and that affects our focus, which is, I suppose, what this represents. The problem here: whatever happened to Guillaume Le Million? who, with his amber mane and sparkling teeth, beguiled the tatter remain tattered remains of the nation. While you suffered and suffered, did he dematerialize in a cloud of cocaine dust, or did he simply stand in the corner and melt into the slendering new lines of some starlit boite de nuit 20 years ago? Spare a thought for his great ass, too. Or, wait, maybe he became a police officer in Revachal West. Hmm. I was wondering, it's like, is that just us? Is that just us? Um, thoughts are also good for RP since they unlock dialogue. Oh, interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and internalize this. Yeah, it'll hurt our logic a bit. But uh, I was thinking while we were having that conversation with the mirror, I was like, is it me? Could it be me? Uh, so I guess I was internalizing it. And if I really want to be a superstar, I might want to tap into this, I think, right? Uh, sure, let's, uh, let's go ahead and internalize that. Uh, yeah, and I was just saying that uh, I do like CRPGs quite a bit, so you can expect them on the channel. I almost did Wrath of the Righteous, but life kind of just got in the way at the time. Uh, but I'm really excited for the Rogue Trader game that Owlcat Games is making. Um, so you, you can definitely expect CRPGs on the channel, for sure. I love the genre. Uh, I'm surprised I haven't done more of them, actually. Uh, but yes, let's go ahead and internalize that. Oh, and okay, I see. Ooh, this is... Ooh, I didn't even notice this. That's quite nice. Uh, very visually very compelling. Um, but we can stop at any time, which is good to know. I just wonder about progress. I guess it'll like tick down and we can start and stop thinking about stuff as we, as we, as we go on. All right, let's go ahead and... Oh, what's this? Didn't notice this earlier. Is that a shirt or a jacket? Am I putting a jacket on before a shirt? No, okay, that is a shirt. Ah, there you go. White satin shirt. Conceptualization plus one. Suggestion minus one. Is it just a nasty shirt? Take a look at it. Now that's a good look. Now that's a superstar right there. Uh, our shirt. This white satin shirt used to be fancy. It used to really catch the light. Now it smells like someone took a piss in the armpits. Dear God. <laughs> Plus one conceptualization. A real statement to wear. Minus one suggestion because of its unsavory odor. Oh my lord. Okay, I'm going to have to read the descriptions for all the items. Uh, I hope y'all don't mind. But if they're all going to be like that, I, I don't think I can ignore them set to go who needs pants or another shoe it's true ain't it <laughs> it's true yeah boy is thick now let's go ahead and grab that disco ass blazer plus one to esprit de corps so esprit de corps is um if memory serves me correctly it is the embodiment of being a cop uh being cop like is is that so uh, sometimes in conversations you're going to speak to uh, other people and you have to come across in that way um, and, 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 or you have to like have an understanding of the inner workings of being a cop. And that's what that represents. So it looks like someone skinned this blazer off some long extinct disco animal. It has an enigmatic white rectangle on the back and the right sleeve. You mean patches? Uh, fair enough. <laughs> Let's go ahead and check the, uh, the shattered glass and then we'll put on some pants and, and make our way out. Cop sense, but also more broadly camaraderie sense. We'll go ahead and put it. stands broken in its frame. Cold wind blows in. Visual calculus. Assess the damage. So visual calculus is another intelligence-based skill, uh, and it's about, uh, like, analyzing, uh, like, like almost like mathematically analyzing a situation. Uh, sometimes, if I understand correctly, it'll literally show you uh, what happened or might have happened to cause a situation, uh, and that's visual calculus. So let's go ahead and, and, and check it. We sh I mean, 83% isn't as high as I'd like it to be, truth be told. <laughs> the shards face outward. Whatever broke this window came from the inside. So like, okay, as an example, we have a bit more information now about what happened here. 
uh, and then not not just visually, but that visual has also translated into uh, into an actual explanation. So it's like it's like detective work. It's like in being in detective mode in other games and being able to analyze uh, things things in the world. Uh, did I break it with my own hands? <laughs> Look at them. A fine web of scarring covers the back of your right hand, but none of it is recent. All right, what did this then? More likely a projectile than a held object. There are no fragments on the floor from pulling a tool back in after impact. Interesting. Assess the size of the impact. It is too large for a bullet, yet too small for a piece of furniture. You're looking for something heavy and larger than your fist. Hmm. The single green shoe you found fits the hole almost as well as your foot. It would have also been heavy enough if thrown with force. Oh no. <laughs> We're only going to have one shoe for the early game, I guess. Uh All right, chat. Do we wear pants or do we do we try to do a pantsless run? I'm open to this. I'm open to it. Unless we find some really cool pants down the line. I'm I'm open to leaving these pants out. Uh, does it make sense for our character? Let's see. We're, we have a flair for the dramatic, right? Everything we do needs to be like over the top, ostentatious. Between, uh, between conceptualization and, and drama, I'd say we definitely have, uh, the, the parts of the puzzle. You know, we're making our own fashion here. Pants, please. No pants. Do pants. Wear them. All right. I think, uh, I think I'm seeing... <laughs> I'm seeing people leaning towards putting pants on. Sometimes pants, sometimes no pants. <laughs> All right, let's, let's get the pants on. Let's get the pants on. Fashion Elysium is too much fun. Got to keep your options open. Fair enough. All right, we'll put on pants. But let's, let's end this conversation first. Congratulations. You smashed the window with your own shoe. Now you only have one. If you're lucky, you could still find the other one on the balcony outside. The door to it should be outside your room. Maybe it wasn't me. Who says it was me? You mean someone else took your shoe off and smashed the window with it? <laughs> God damn it, getting called out by my own brain. I don't need it. I don't need anyone. The window agrees. Its cracked smile is cold and sparkly. All right, all right. Let's get these pants on and make our way out. I think I've interacted with everything over here. Hello, pants. Plus, minus one self warfare, plus one electrochemistry. Oh, they help me do drugs. Good stuff. I guess that works out. I guess we have a thought or some interaction, but let me let me check these pants out first. Uh, so minus one self warfare, tight around the thighs, plus one electrochemistry, tight around the crotch. <laughs> All right, I'm I'm kind of glad we picked these pants up. Flare cut trousers. These golden brown trousers are flare cut. Normal bell bottom trousers would be boot cut, but these are far from normal. They're someone's piss-soaked, cum-stained party pants. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I might have been better off keeping them off me. <laughs> All right, hold on. I'm trying to contain myself here. <laughs> you hear a jingle. Keys are clinking in the pocket of your flare cut pants. <laughs> Let's fish them out. I don't know if I want to put my hands in these pockets, man. <laughs> it says whirling in rags on the aluminium key ring. There is a single key on the ring. The number one is etched on it. It should open the door. <laughs> Voidheart, I don't want to imagine the smell. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Yeah, it's someone's. It's not mine. It's someone else's potentially. Jeez. All right, so we got keys. Can we actually look at the keys as well? No. Oh, yes. Okay, it's just a key to room number one. That's fine. Uh, you can also see, by the way, the all of our, all of our stats being modified by uh, by the clothes we're wearing. Um, can I? Ah, yes, I can. All right, cool. So when, if we need to be pantsless for any occasion, uh, we, we can be pantsless for all occasions. Let's go ahead and and head out and uh, see what the world has to offer. That was just our like what hotel room, I guess, motel room probably. Yeah, it turns out the pants have the key to the door, so I guess we did have to put them on. True, <laughs> that's true. Whenever you have a halo option around your head, it is often location dependent, so worth clicking right away. Oh, that's good to know. But usually you can return to the spot and get it offered again if you miss it. Very good to know. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wouldn't want to miss those opportunities. 
All right, what have we here? Telecos by Piston Teak, 28 degrees centigrade, limited rainfall. Oh. That, what did I hover? Oh, is that the music playing or that's something over here? Yes, I guess so. That's the music playing. Uh, door, calendar. Let's take a look at this first and we'll speak to this person and try to understand what the hell's going on here. Revishal zone of control. Oh, no, that's a song. Is there something on the table? All right. Was it money? It is money. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Real is the currency of the uh, of the space. That's the door out, I guess. <laughs> the last thing I do is speak to the person. What do we oh, have here? Officer. All right. Well, if she's gonna start talking, then I should I should be like a normal human being and speak to her first, right? Any chance of Underrail? Ah, uh, I'm not familiar with Underrail. I'll take a look at it and see uh, see what the call is. Last patch came out two months ago. Oh, that's kind of recent. All right, I'll, I'll take a look at it. I'm not familiar with uh, with Underrail. Oh, then. It's better than Soil Pants item from Grim Dawn. I don't remember that. <laughs> we were good at tie and one shoe. The rest is excessive. Well, we needed the keys, I guess. The young woman raises a cigarette to her lips. Her eyes are brown and her face is speckled with birthmarks. She can't be more than 28. <laughs> Turn your bloated face away from her beauty and just keep on walking. Uh, no, we're, we're full of ourselves. We think too much of ourselves despite what we saw in the mirror. So uh, I guess the only other option is officer. Am I military personnel? Uh, no. She seems perplexed by your question. Then why did you call me an officer? Because you're a police officer, sir. She pulls on her cigarette. Uh, <laughs> they're on, you're shitting me, and goddamn right I'm a policeman. Both are 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 tempting. Uh, <laughs> you know what? I'm trying to put myself in my shoes. I I just woke up. Hung over out of my mind. I have no idea who we are. Hell no, we're a superstar. Wickles has a good point there. Mm, that's a good point. That's a good point. Are you sure? I am, yes. Unless you've been feeding us a set of very well rehearsed lies all this time. She takes another drag. All this time? You've been here for three days. On official police business, no less. And what business is that? Couldn't say. In truth, so far, mostly drinking. I sound like a pretty fun guy. <laughs> sound like a pretty fun guy. It's really nice watching an LP by someone who can pronounce French words. I try. I'm sure I butcher them from more often than not, but I do try. <laughs> um, uh, so good to see you live, says Paul. B uh, I hope you're keeping well. Missing the Workers and Resources series. Hope makes a return again soon. I hope so, too. I, I, I really want to bring that back. Hopefully life starts to come back in order and, and everything goes back to, to how things used to be, perhaps even better. But thank you for coming through, buddy. I'm glad you could, uh, glad you could make it. Uh, been a minute, for sure. <laughs> Time for the expression, says Spindle. All right, let's land that hottie. All right, oh, what, what, what are my options here? Why don't I remember being a cop or anything else? Who in their right mind would let me be an officer of the law? <laughs> <laughs> Try the expression on her. Let her know you want her physically, or I should get going now. Yeah, I got a, I got a flair for the excessive, right? Let's try, let's try this expression. Come on. The words yeah. have already left your mouth. Oh no! <laughs> I want to have fuck with you. <laughs> what was that? That's not even how words are used. What did you say? Come on, say it again. <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I said I wanted to have sex with you. <laughs> no, you see, that's not what you said. You said. <laughs> <laughs> but she's unable to finish consumed with laughter. Come on, man. Pretty please. One more time. I, I mean, hey, you know, I'm making her laugh. That's promising, right? That's a good sign. <laughs> and besides, I'm overly confident in myself. I have no issue with what I said. I said I want to have fuck with you. Goddamn right you did. You crazy asshole, you. What kind of cop are you? 
<laughs> oh my goodness. I'm a cop of the apocalypse. I'm a superstar cop. It's been established. I, wow. Like literally thoughts, like words out of my mouth. I'm sorry. I don't know why I said that. You're pretty. I'm sorry. I'm the sorry cop. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm a cop at all. I sure don't remember being one. I think I might have lied. <laughs> Oh, man. I'm a superstar cop. It's been established. Okay, that's cool. Or if I can just maybe ask you to elaborate on that superstardom a tiny bit. <laughs> it means I'm a bloated old drunk with sideburns and disco pants. If I don't have a joke up on my sleeve, it's on me. No, 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 no. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I genuinely believe I'm a superstar. I'm not pitiful. I'm not pitiful. I'm a scion of Guillaume Le Million. Or maybe you are Guillaume Le Million. He'd be about your age now. Think about it. One thing, though. She extinguishes her cigarette. It's gonna suck for you later when you have to interrogate me. The animators knew what they were doing. <laughs> and for the record, no, I didn't do it. All right, man, I gotta say, I'm on board. This game is very fun so far. I love this. I love, I, I just, words don't, I, I love this. Hey, it is, the year is 51. Cool, the calendar says it's March 51. All right, cool. Looks like she left a nice long stub in the ashtray. It's still smoking. All right, I guess she wasn't done yet. Or maybe she's trying to quit. Let's try random doors. Damn. <laughs> okay, I guess they won't all open. I can try and uh, knock on her door and, and, and be an absolute creep and like <laughs> chase after, oh no. The door is closed. Trying the handle is scary. She is pure noir. Yeah, very noir vibes uh, from that interaction and everything. Get the shoe. What, did I miss the shoe? Surely I can come back to this. You know what? It's too late. Go with the flow, man. I think, uh, I think Papa said, let's go with the flow. I'm here. I'm gonna knock. There is no answer. Aw. Left me hanging. You hear the shower being turned on somewhere inside. Fair enough. Uh, I was gonna say, probably just in the washroom. Uh, perception, I think it's self-explanatory. Your senses, how, how attuned you are to your senses. Uh, I believe if it gets too high, you can get distracted by things. I forget now, but, uh, but yeah, perception's pretty self-explanatory. A tremendous loneliness comes over you. Everybody in the world is doing something without you. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, very sad game. Uh, I'm so alone. Why are you doing this? Don't do this to me. Beauty, don't abandon me in all this ugliness. Swallow the emotion. Ah, man. Swallow the emotion. Swallow. Yeah, I think. Uh, I, 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 I think we just bottle it, bury it deep inside, right? I feel like that's what I feel like that's what this guy would do. Swallow the emotion. The door is closed. I'm gonna leave. Oh, we know she's in the shower. I'm gonna leave. <laughs> uh, this is not a shoe. I, I for some reason I thought the shoe might be over here. Satirical newspaper. Trompe le monde, or le monde, I guess. All right, shoe would be, if we threw it out this way, I remember seeing this down here, so let's go ahead and pop this open, I'm assuming. Uh, imagine if everyone in the world was doing something with you, how exhausting. I mean, <laughs> it's disco, baby. Bro is moody. Inland Empire is devastating. Good to know. I'm glad I took it. It's kind of nice. Uh... Mika, the fact that she's smoking and literally smoking just adds to it. No, very noir vibes offer. Oh. Okay, see a container, you can't open, equip a pry bar. All right, very well. Uh, <laughs> Chads don't seek therapy, they just bottle their emotions. Yeah, 100% healthy behavior. Uh, Wrath of the Righteous, um, I thought I saw, I might revisit at some point. Uh, I've uh, I've played it and I, 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 I really enjoy it. Um, but, uh, but yeah, just not on the channel. It's a different, uh, oh, there's my shoe. It's a different vibe kind of, right? That was beautiful. The smell of the sea makes you dizzy. Okay, I guess that was just, it wasn't an interaction. So, I, okay, like you said, the halo thing isn't an interaction every time. Sometimes it's just a, a, a thought. A gust of briny wind washes over you. Let's grab our other shoe. How's the, hold on, hang on. Why is the window not broken here? 
If we threw it out, oh, I, were we higher up maybe? No, there is no higher up. What happened? What, what is this mystery? There they both are. Two identical shoes. Both copiously green and indiscriminately snakeskin. Reunited on your feet. Secret tasks. Oh, okay. Okay. Nico, how's it going, buddy? Glad you can make it. Ah. Is there? Oh, I guess. Oh, I guess that's broken. So I must have thrown it at an angle. <laughs> Why? But all right. Reunited on my feet. Like two baby crocodiles. Okay. Um, so again, conceptualization is thinking about things a little differently or making jokes and quips. These don't look like normal cop shoes. How do they fit? Or just get rid of this thought. No, wait, hold on. These don't look like normal cop shoes. They are superstar cop shoes. It's pretty clear a normal cop is not what you are. I love it. Um, Esteban, glad you could drop by, buddy. I have yourself a wonderful day at work, and uh, thanks for coming through. Appreciate it. When a dialogue answer starts with wait or hold on, it just gives more dialogue without advancing the actual convo. Good to know. Thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, how do they fit? Good. They're balanced. Comfy. Feels like the only good thing about you right now. Truth oh. Be told. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> thanks, Gabe. Uh, all right, let me take a look at some of this stuff. So we've got our shoes. Yeah, we've got both of our shoes now. Um, I didn't even notice this earlier. Plus one composure, awesome watchtower heels, minus one savoir faire, heels ridiculously high. I forget exactly what composure translates to. Um, uh, so if, if anyone, uh, if anyone, there we go. Straighten your back, keep your poker face. So I guess it is just composure, but I don't know what the... Uh, what the like uh, super high composure translates to, I guess. Uh, but what is this? Secret tasks, right? So Monday map. Oh, oh, that's nice. It keeps a track of the stuff that uh, we can go back to if we've leveled something up appropriately. Cool. Uh, officer profile incomplete. All right, done. Oh, active versus done. Find your other shoe. Seems like your green snakeskin shoe is missing its partner. You should find it before you go venturing into the wild unknown. Two shoes are better than one. Unite them again. All right, very well. Cool. Good to know that, yeah, okay, so I guess there's stuff that the game's not so uh, forthright about. This one was rather obvious that you should probably get your other shoe, but it didn't, like, pop up an objective and, you know, put a marker on the screen or anything like that. Disco would be the most interesting. Uh, I mean, so far, I'm enjoying this quite a bit. It's very uh, u unique is, is the word that comes to mind right off the bat. Your perks also have cool downsides. Yes, if you go too high, sometimes you'll get distracted or, or not uh, behave you know, regularly as people might expect you to, and it'll have, like, dire consequences. Nothing on the front page rings a bell. Strange. Oh, that's the newspaper, I guess. Didn't complete my interaction with it. Let's go downstairs. Make our way out. Low on morale. Put points into volition. Yeah, this music's pretty good. Yeah, this music's legit. What is this, a stage? It's obviously the first place I'm going. Is that a taxidermy? What is going on here? Okay, to the mic. Big old karaoke mic just waiting for someone to sing into it. And, can I? <laughs> I'm assuming no, all right. What do we have here? This is where the lyrics would be, all right. A little karaoke competition happening last night or maybe later today. The speaker is connected to the radio. The music is seasoned with static. Oh. Good writing. It's great writing. You should totally sing karaoke here. The first chance you get. Your emotions need to be expressed. People need to know your vast oceanic soul. My soul is immense. My soul is modest. It's normal sized. My soul is puny or my soul's cubic content is obscured by the hangover. No, my soul is immense. Utterly. And it needs to be heard. I agree. Through a PA system. I agree. By other people. I agree. This goes well with a theory I'm developing that I'm a down on my luck superstar person. Who is mistakenly identified as a cop for his prominent jawline? Yes, sounds likely. You should probably go on stage and pose for a moment when you're done with this thought. See if it works. What should I sing when it comes to it, though? You should sing the sad small church song from that tape you found. 
thought it was obvious. <laughs> uh, I was thinking maybe I could sing something happy, get the crowd going, or of course, that'll really get a gauge on my soul with, they'll really get a gauge on my soul with that one. A sad song or a happy song? I mean, the expression is one of pure unbridled joy, right? Yeah, the stage is just like, yeah, <laughs> made of like trash. Um, I did get the tie, Otaku. I did get the tie, uh, and I am wearing it. Uh, yeah, I turned the, 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 the fan off and I grabbed my, my tie, yeah. I was thinking maybe I could sing something happy. Get the crowd going. I'm a happy man. On the surface. No, no. Don't sing the happy song. It's stupid. Sing the sad song. It's profound. Alright, Inland Empire. You might be onto something. You would need another copy of the tape first, though. The one upstairs is destroyed. Okay, that's fun. All right, cool. Yeah, I guess that's that thought done. We just have to find an actual working version of uh, of the sad song. That's interesting. Find find a sufficiently tragic tape, play it on a boombox to memorize the lyrics, then ask the cafeteria manager, this guy, I guess, uh, to perform, preferably in the evening. More people at the bar then. What is this game? All right, I'm on board. Sign me up. That sounds uh, that sounds like a fun distraction. The hell? <laughs> Inland Empire is 13, and that's deep. <laughs> Jason Rowley, thank you very much for subscribing. I don't know why the uh, the notifications on screen are taking so long to pop up, but I see you in chat, buddy. Thanks for uh, subscribing. Again, folks, if you're enjoying the show, don't hesitate to let me know. We are at 69 likes right now, but hey, it doesn't hurt to go beyond 69 after you're done with it. Uh, so please, if, if you're having a good time, hit that like button. If you're watching the VOD, leave a like down below as well, uh, and, and a comment perhaps to let me know how you feel. Um, I'm having a fantastic time with this game. What do we have on the chalkboard here? Specials? The menu has been wiped clean. Only the word Monday is written on it. The game does a really... Uh, okay, well, I don't want to belabor this, but like the game does a good job of communicating things with you, uh, like to you uh, in a very like show-don't-tell kind of a way. Um, I now know it's Monday, sometime in March in the year 1951, right? And it didn't like write it down for me. Maybe I missed it somewhere, uh, but it didn't like write it down for me and, 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 and say it to me, you know what I mean? I like that a lot. Woman's hand wrote yesterday's menu. Today's start it starts in a man's handwriting. I guess that's because one of my skills was high enough to notice the difference in handwriting styles. That's neat. This is a water cooler. A large bubble is rising to the surface. Very well, that's, I assume, the exit. But before we go out of this space... Oh, there was also this down here. Also this up here. There's so much, so much. A sign reads, Mess Hall Reserved for Union Members. Doors open at 1600. Fair enough. And what do we have back here? This Royal Pinball Machine is unplugged. Oh yeah, okay, I guess that's pinball. Jazzy, glad you can make it, buddy. Having a, uh, having a good day, I hope. And there it is, Jason Rowley again, like I was saying. Thank you very much for subscribing, bud. Uh, one thing this game has in common with Fallout 1 and The Wasteland 2 and 3 is that it's wise to save points... So you need them to overcome a skill check. Oh, interesting. I do wonder if I'll do that. I do that sometimes. I'll see if it makes sense uh, when uh, when the opportunity comes. Have I read Ordeal? That does not sound familiar to me. No. All right. Uh, let's speak to this lady over here. Oh, I just want to. I just want to engage with everything first before I have these conversations. What's going on over here? The door is bolted. The sign reads "Kitchen reserved for personnel until 1300." Fair enough. The soft purr of an electric juicer comes from the kitchen. Someone is working. Very well. What do we have uh, over here? Summer door closed for the winter. All right, and now we know it. Wait, winter? It's March. <laughs> they just pour maintenance around these parts, I guess. All right. What's up with this lady and this guy? Hello, sweetie. The cryptozoologist's wife, Lena. You shouldn't keep your colleague waiting. She nods towards the man in the orange bomber jacket. Ah, very well. I guess this is our partner. A bespeckled man in an orange bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. Looks like he's waiting for someone. You. As you approach, he narrows his eyes and extends his hand in greeting. If an assault were launched on this building right now, if the windows came crashing down and the whole world descended upon you, this man would hurl himself in death's way to save you. You are sure of this, but why? So there you go. Again, esprit de corps. It's like, 
uh, the, 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 the cop, understanding the cop life, as it were, and what it means to, to cop, I guess. Um, hold on, who is he to me? I'll shake his hand, but, you know, I'm, have, I'm internalizing this conversation. He is your half-brother. Oh! What? Okay, all right. More than I expected. Hello, I'm Kim Kitsuragi, Lieutenant, Precinct 57. You must be from the 41st. Quick sidebar, I'm sorry, I can't help myself. Uh, the game has used British pronunciations throughout the whole thing. It said aluminium. All the spellings have been with use, like odor and stuff like that. But here it says lieutenant as opposed to lieutenant. That's not a criticism or anything. I just find it's just interesting to me. That's the only reason I, I'm, I'm pointing it out, because it stood out to me. Uh, so he's from Precinct 57, and I guess I'm from the 41st. You tell me, buddy. You tell me. You realize he's waiting for your name. This is your chance to come up with a really good name for yourself. Get creative. Conceptualize. Oh, there we go. See, there's that conceptualization. It's interesting because I think it just, uh, yeah, it just introduces, like, lateral thinking, which I always love. Say nothing. I don't really know my name. Nah, we'll come up with something. We'll come up with something. Uh, writers, did that change on purpose? Uh, what, what, uh, what did I miss there? Or did I miss something uh, essential? Uh, in case you missed... It in the churn of the first red check. Very small detail worth pointing out because the game doesn't draw attention to it and most don't notice. The background of character portraits are an indication of ideology and state of mind. Oh, interesting. Oh, that is interesting. Huh. All right, let's go ahead and make ourselves uh, a good name. Come on, baby. Come on. Concentration makes you squint your eyes. Your name should be deep gold and orange, like a forest fire looming on the horizon, but mixed with the stench of liquor rising from your breath. You're two steps closer to it, but there are still many to go. Ah, oh, this is so... This is interesting. I, so he's not actually my half-brother, but he is the... He's, he's in spirit my half-brother to be, I guess? Because um, he doesn't know my name, right? Uh, I, I guess I'll say it is not yet time. Again, being, I've got a flair for the dramatic, right? It is not yet time. Oh yeah, the spelling is the same, Nico, but the pronunciation of lieutenant versus lieutenant is different. And when aluminium came up, again, those are different spellings too, but it was just an interesting observation. But either way, it is not yet time. Okay, then. <laughs> <laughs> he processes the information, then disregards it. Probably the best thing to do, buddy. Probably the best thing to do. It looks like we had a little scheduling error on Sunday. Saturday too, actually. Have you had time to talk to the manager here? What he means is, he has been trying to meet up with you for two days, but you have been otherwise occupied. <laughs> Drunk out of my mind. God. Success doesn't give you a name, failure would give you a bad name. Oh, interesting. Um, you mean that guy, not towards the man behind the counter? I totally talked to him. I have not. Uh, no, I haven't. There must be some kind of misunderstanding. You're taking me for someone else. Yeah, I'm a... I'm a... I'm a superstar. Must be some kind of misunderstanding. Because again, I, I don't really know who I am. The, the lady upstairs as well kind of shocked me, saying I'm a I'm a cop. Or do I just take on the role, have it be assigned to me, and accept it? Must be some kind of misunderstanding. You're taking me for someone else. No, I don't think so. We should ask him for a rundown of the area. Not that I'm here as well. I understand the scene is out back, right? It also wouldn't hurt to assure him the police are finally here. In full force, I mean. Have you mapped out the initial interviews? <laughs> yes, the police. I'm aware I'm a policeman. <laughs> right. And the interviews? <laughs> he taps his foot more out of habit than impatience. What interviews? At the 57th, we like to prepare an initial list of persons of interest. And then just skim the surface. Prepare the field. Get to know the players. You don't do that? Maybe it's not an inter-district practice. I feel like our district probably does do that. I, I don't do that. Uh, Otaku, this will ne next be streamed on Friday. So the plan is every Friday at the same start time. So that's uh, 10 a.m. Eastern, about an hour and a half ago from right now. 
uh, every Friday moving forward until we finish at least one playthrough. Uh, and then depending on vibes, uh, I might <laughs> I might do more than just one. But that's the plan for now, Otaku. Uh, if you join the Discord or follow me on Twitter, links to both of those are in the description down below. It's a great place to stay up to date with scheduling stuff. Uh, and just to, in the Discord especially, hang out with some fantastic folks. It is a beautiful place to hang out with some beautiful people. Uh, don't hesitate to join uh, if, uh, you know, if, that's your, if that's your scene. But yes, every Friday, uh, 10 a.m. Eastern, uh, we will be continuing this story. Uh, grateful, how's it going, buddy? I'm doing quite well myself. How about yourself? Uh, have I heard of Black Geezer? It's a Baldur's Gate inspired. No, I have not. I guess there's a whole world of CRPGs that I've uh, I've, I've I've missed out on. And there is Wickles dropping both the Twitter and the Discord link, and Papa Nurgle as well dropping the Discord link in chat, folks. Uh, join on in again. Fantastic place to hang out. And uh, if you follow me on Twitter, you know uh, I I put updates to the scheduling and stuff. Uh, the uh, occasional picture of Elizabeth, the adorable uh, queen of mine which is my pet rabbit, if you don't know. Um, but yeah, um, I haven't done this whole interview stuff, no. Okay, we'll have time for that after we take a look at the coroner's case. I was tempted to lie there and just say I have, because of course I'm on, I'm, I'm on top of things, but I feel like I'm still hungover. I think once I, I come to properly, I'll start being a bit more, a bit more full of myself. Touch more. Damn right, Papa Nurgle. Best people. Have you removed the dead body from the tree? Jesus, uh, I don't like dead bodies as a cop. Look, man, you know, yeah, <laughs> no, completely <laughs> dead body. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um. <laughs> Getting a little annoyed at this line of questioning. Look, man, you know, yeah. Does that mean the body is no longer in the tree? No, that's not what that means. <laughs> so, the body is still in the tree. Yes. <laughs> this is the first time you detect a weariness in the lieutenant's voice. It is obvious he would have preferred for the body to no longer be in the tree. Where it has been hanging for seven days straight. We should go there as soon as we are done talking to the owner. Oh man, we are terrible cops. Oh, I say we, I just mean me and my multiple personalities. Uh, empathy, by the way, I think is also pretty self-explanatory. Empathy is empathy. Um, your ability to, uh, well, be empathic, to read how other people are feeling uh, and to, uh, to, to, to react appropriately. It gives you, from my understanding, it gives you some insight into the kind of responses that might work better. Uh, and I think it unlocks conversation options based on when you succeed a, a check like this, it gives you a bit more uh, options that, that are, you know, in accordance with how the other person is, is feeling. Uh, what if I told you I'm not really a police officer? Okay, how can you be so sure I'm from the police? But I can't remember anything. What are we supposed to do again? Let's get going then. What if I told you I'm not really a police officer? We all feel that way sometimes. There is no such thing as a police officer, I'm afraid. What remains is that there is a dead body in the tree. Someone has to figure out who put it there. If we don't, no one else will. Bro, <laughs> that's much deeper than the, much deeper than I was expecting that to go. But first, we have to take it down. How can you be so sure I'm from the police? I was sent here to meet a detective from Precinct 41. You have the insignia of the citizen's militia on your sleeve and on your back. Oh, okay. Oh, what if I hadn't worn my jacket? Oh, now I'm curious. What if I hadn't worn my jacket? I suppose you could be impersonating him. You could have gotten the insignia from the black market or forged it. But for now, I'm going to set those possibilities aside. I'm not from the Inspectorate General. Inspectorate General means internal affairs. What he's saying is he's not from the rat squad and isn't supposed to suspect such things. Interesting. So again, Encyclopedia is our... It just gives us more insight into the world, tells us more of the lore, I guess, is, is the way to put it. The Rat Squad. Now, is that how we feel about these guys? Do we not like the rats? Are we, are we that corrupt a cop that we call them that? Ah, you mean the Rat Squad. I don't think he liked that term. Uh, again, I succeeded my, my empathy up there earlier, so I, I, I'd say I'm probably getting a good read on him. I don't think uh, he'd like the term rat squad. You mean internal affairs? Yes, but I'm not them. I'm from criminal investigation. You said insignia. These white rectangles, you mean? 
Yes. But they're just white rectangles. They're not just white rectangles. They bear a halogen watermark with the letters RCM and a pattern resembling the street grid of Revachol West. What? I would ask you to step into the headlights of my motor carriage, but again, it's none of my concern. I just need you to do your job. <laughs> but shouldn't I have a badge or something? You mean you don't have a badge? <laughs> it was not on me when I woke up. Pretend you found it. I have my badge. I'm a policeman and I have my badge. You know what I said? Well, you know what I said? Like when I start coming to, I'm going to start bullshitting a bit more. <laughs> I think this is that. Josh Thompson, I remember playing this through second time after Final Cut. Absolutely amazing game. I mean, I'm loving it so far and we're just scratching the surface of the beginning. Um, <laughs> it's true, Mika. I did, didn't I? I did. We're going to pretend. We're absolutely going to pretend. I have my badge. I'm a policeman, and I have my badge. Oh, if you didn't have your badge, then that would be very bad. You would need to report it on my shortwave. But since you do have it, we can go straight to the task at hand. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> it doesn't even give me the option to renege and be like, no, 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 no. I was messing with you, man. <laughs> Stefano Coletti, thank you very much for subscribing, buddy. If you're enjoying the show, you know what to do. Let me know down below. Hit that like button. Uh, and again, if you aren't already in the Discord, since you're a new subscriber, link is in the description down below. Great place to hang out and chill with some great people. Um, But I can't remember anything. What are we supposed to do again? Let's roll. No, um, yeah, I can't remember anything, man. I'm gonna have to jog my memory, Kim. I can see you drank last night and the night before, and that you are still drunk now. But I have seen officers go through worse, much worse. And hey, you know, he is a detective. Of course, he's able to detect the uh, scent of alcohol. If you need something for your headache, there is a general store nearby. But as I said, the dead body should be our number one concern. Okay, but what were we supposed to do again? Talk to the manager. Then we go out back and take the body down. All right, all right, all right. Let's roll. After you, officer. Lieutenant Kitsuragi is now in your party. You can talk to him whenever by interacting with him. Ah, oh, cool. Okay. Oh, oh! I did not know this was a party-based CRPG. I I thought you were, you played one individual. I didn't know people would fall. Like I said, first time ever playing this game. I only know that it's amazing. Uh, from from what I've seen uh, conversation online. Uh, all right, so report my badge missing uh, um, as soon as possible. Lieutenant said that you can use the radio in his motor car to call your station. Yeah, I might need to do that. I wonder if I can do that when he's not uh, nearby. Interview the cafeteria manager. Uh, the whirling in rags might know something about the murder that happened in the yard. Ask him about it and then inspect the victim's body. Inspect the, bo inspect the body hanging in the backyard of the whirling in rags. This is a preliminary inspection. You just need to suppress the urge to throw up and approach it. Very well. Let's go ahead and speak with this man over here then. Kim is just your sidekick throughout. Okay, so it isn't a party-based CRPG. Okay, okay, good to know. Kim is just your sidekick throughout. Gotcha. Okay, good to know. So I wasn't way off. Blue Brain is a great choice for first playthrough. Lots of lore and info for context. Yeah, I'm glad I made the choices I made, so far at least. A man in his late 20s with a thin, unimpressive beard notices you approaching. He drops the ledger he was holding and turns to the lieutenant. My compliments to the uh, to the writers. Unimpressive beer. Just like good, just... Mr. Gart, right? You run this place. The lieutenant glances into his little notebook. Yes. He responds tersely. I feel like I don't need to read these every time because that it was pretty obvious that yes was terse. I am Kim Kitsuragi from Prison 57. This is an inter-district investigation. So joining me from Prison 41... He looks to you, realizing he still doesn't know your name. Okay, fine. Sometimes I have to read them. That's pretty good. Um, I'm convinced the tutorial agent lady is a consciousness that only shows up when she wants to. Yeah, feels like it. She didn't show up for anything earlier. Not much of a tutorial, which, again, that's not a complaint. Oh, man. I don't think many would be brave enough to play first playthrough on stream. Gotta have a PhD and everything to understand it all. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, we'll find out soon enough, I guess. Um... My name, the Harbinger of Ruin. What is gold and orange like a forest fire but smells like liquor? I'm currently in between names. Oh, jeez. This is tough. The Harbinger of Ruin. 
That sounds pretty good. The Harbinger of Ruin. Uh, earlier when we were uh, conceptualizing, we were thinking something gold and orange and smells like liquor, right? But I think, I think we could say we're in between names. <laughs> there is no understanding. There's only madness and liquor. <laughs> oh, God. There's a man sleeping near the window. Talk to him. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll seek him out. I'll seek him out. Uh, I'm currently in between names. Fantastic. <laughs> it's like when you've left your band, but you haven't decided on a solo artist's name yet. Okay, no. Kim is about to say something. No, you know what? No. I got a flair for the dramatics. I'm supposed to be ostentatious. Yeah, it's like when you've left your band, but you haven't decided on a solo artist's name yet. That's wonderful. Really. I think so. But there's a dead body out back. No one wants to work in these conditions. It's been a week. <laughs> Sir, I understand your concern. But we are here to do a job. And for us to do it, I need you to stay calm. Yes, of course. He takes a step back. I know it took us a while to arrive at the scene, but it also took you a while to call us. It was you who placed the call, correct? Oh, cough him. No, I only just got here. It was probably Sylvie who called you. She usually works the bar here. I'm only temporarily taking over her duties. Fine, uncuff him then. Do you have her number? That's one way to get it. As a matter of fact, I do. He looks behind a pile of coasters, finds a slip of paper, and hands it to the lieutenant. You said you just got here. From where? Are you a local? What, of Martinez? No, I live in Jamrock. I only sometimes come here to keep an eye on the place. This is just one of the many, many cafeterias I manage. But you still know your way around, yes? In case we need directions. Yes, I know where some things are, but as I said, I don't live here. I just used to work here. And I'm not going to start working here again, if that's what you think. Interesting. I like the setup, uh, trying to throw you in without too many easy resources and, and having good justification for, for why, you know? I just realized this is just a hole in the wall here. I didn't imply that. Detective. Who, me? Mm -hmm. I have everything. You? Oh, you mean, do I have questions? <laughs> yeah, let's, let's have our own line of questioning here. <laughs> yes, yes. He means, do you have questions for me, like a police officer would? The cafeteria manager is clearly agitated again. I get the feeling he doesn't like me. He thinks you're stupid, sire. <laughs> Who killed him? I'm sure he would know. Uh, okay, these are actually these are actually some uh, legit uh, questions. So this is yes, uh, Alexander. This is my first time playing this today. Uh, before the stream was literally the first time I clicked play on this game. Um, I adjusted a couple of options and and then the stream started. Uh, this is my first time experiencing this game completely. Uh, Papa says, it's a complex game for sure, yeah, but stumbling and fumbling through it is part of the charm sometimes, and no one fumbles around as charmingly as party. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. There is a certain joy to fumbling about. I'm really excited for it, yeah. Super pumped for it. Um, you know, I actually can't think of a single thing. No, no, no. <laughs> Are you the bartender? He literally answered that. Okay, why did Sylvie go away? I think that's a legitimate question. She went away because none of your business. I'm, I'm a police officer. Have they not been telling you you're a cop? Am I not a cop? Everything is my business. Okay, you got me. She went away because of the dead body out back. And because I asked for her number. That's why Sylvie went away. I hope you appreciate that. I do, thank you. I'm a cop. I, I have questions, you need to answer them. A rhetoric, I uh, assume, is like set up for... Uh, I'm, not, I'm actually not uh, not sure exactly what rhetoric uh, translates to. I don't think I have any modifiers that I can look it up. I know what it means in like the real world, but in game, if someone can illuminate me in chat, feel free. Uh, but yes, uh, do tell me do tell me more. Thank you. The lieutenant says he opens his little notebook at the cover. The number is safely tucked away in a small pocket. Uh, I had more questions. Didn't go well. I asked an employee out. She didn't want to come, but felt obliged to. It was a bad idea. Now, what is so goddamn fascinating about that for you? It's got nothing to do with the lynching. Interesting. Uh, 
just, okay, there's, there's a lot going. So okay, so we know it's it, it was a it was a so a lynching is a very specific thing, and I don't know if the game is using that term specifically or or generically. But okay, that's a bit of insight, I guess. Um, interesting as well. I saw you mentioned in in chat void that your rhetoric wasn't high enough to unlock that answer. I'm hoping for many people that this playthrough will reveal things that maybe they didn't see, despite the game being three years old. Uh, but uh, this stuff gets on my nerves. I'm a feminist. I guess I like to be thorough. Everything has something to do with everything. I don't know. I just <laughs> went for it. You're right. I probably shouldn't have asked. Uh, no, everything has something to do with everything. That sounds dramatic. Good for you. Uh, was there something else? I'd like to get back to what I was doing. Uh, where exactly is the body? Behind this building, there's a courtyard. They hoisted him up on a tree there. Yeah, okay, so it does sound like a like a like a lynching. And how do we get there then? That's easy. See that door there? First you exit through that. Then to your right, you should see a big hole in the fence. A really big one. You can get to the courtyard through there. No need for the keys. The hole is big enough for the Franco Nigerian cavalry to fit through. This is this is amazing. <laughs> he is so upset at us, man. He is so upset at us. <laughs> Uh, who killed him? <laughs> Dumb question. But you know what? Um, maybe his maybe his reaction will uh, will uh, will will tell us something. I don't know who killed him. I'm not the police. That's your job. But did you kill him? What are you crazy? Of course I didn't kill him. I'm oh, getting very angry, man. I'm getting very angry. <laughs> Smack this man. I know for real, right? Are you the bartender? Oh, he's going to be even more annoyed about this question, isn't he? No, I'm not the bartender. I'm the cafeteria manager. I'm tempted to antagonize him just because he's being so horrible. Uh, but no, no, let's let's get our bearings first before we start upsetting, you know, the person who owns the establishment where we we're supposedly living temporarily, at least. What's the difference? I have three cafeterias I manage. Three. Get over it. Jeez, yeah, he, he doesn't sound like a very fun person. All right, that's all. Let's go. Oh, wow. And I guess we only gained that experience because we were so thorough with our questioning, is my assumption. And we, I guess we completed a task. Okay, very well. Yes, let's go. Not so fast. You owe me 130 real. <laughs> What's real? <laughs> Notice the lack of an accent there. Beautiful. Uh, I don't owe you shit. Or slip away unnoticed. Savoir faire, right. So I guess that also does like stealth stuff. Slip away unnoticed. Uh, let's, it's time to bail. <laughs> I literally just said I shouldn't upset the guy whose establishment I'm living in, but I'm a cop. Time to slip away unnoticed. Um. One moment you're running like the wind, then you've suddenly turned around and are giving him the finger, furiously, with both hands. Why? Man, <laughs> I probably should have gone with I don't owe you shit. Superstars don't pay. You're right, Wickles. You're absolutely right. I I, I need to. I, I get so tempted by uh by by checks. I get so tempted by checks sometimes. Lady in the wheelchair is right behind me, isn't she? <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Oh, uh, no, Lennon's. I know, I know, uh, oh, sorry, I, I misread your statement there, sorry. Okay, so Lady in the Wheelchair is right behind me, isn't she? Why did I do this? Why did I have to use both my hands to flip him off? Why both? <laughs> you know what? Fuck you, asshole. Watch out! <laughs> Everything goes... Oh yeah, failing is, is always fun, man. That's why having some low stats is great. <laughs> Are we dead? Back so soon. Oh no. <laughs> so worth it. Admit it. You just missed the quarter light. The darkness on the edge of town. <laughs> I was wrong to let you go. I should have kept you here. Is it bright where you are? Is it terrifying? Have you felt the love? I sure as hell haven't felt no love. That is too bad. We all need a little love. 
Are you okay? Oh, I said that out loud. That's embarrassing. <laughs> That was it was worth it though. I'm glad we got to go back to listen to that voice again. Uh, very tabletop, very much so. Yeah, it feels that way for sure. Where failing is like you know, there's there's a there's, it fail you fail forward, I guess in a way. This is a game where failing is more like succeeding in a different direction. <laughs> I love that your name is Pantless. <laughs> I almost almost left the room up top, Pantless, but we did need our keys, I guess. Um, am I okay? Yeah, I'm fine. No, you have sustained a trauma to your lower neck. In addition, you have strained your left trapezius muscle. Pain surges down your back when you move. <laughs> I'm not very okay. No worries. I mean, she seems fine. Uh, ouch. Uh, no, I'm, I'm not very okay. You died to the ceiling fan? You can die to the ceiling fan? <laughs> what the hell? Superstars don't need keys. Uh, it's true. <laughs> I'm not very okay. Ma'am, are you alright? She's fine. I'm on the floor here. Oh, I'm fine. He just tripped over my chair. Check on him. <sighs> Kyle Bridges, uh, I really need to let that go. I have this on console. I just want to have fun. Oh, you mean like uh, trying to get everything right, you mean? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, having character flaws and making mistakes is some of the most fun with RPGs, tabletop or, or CRPGs. A good CRPG will let you screw up and still have a good time. Apart from dying, obviously, which can be fun in its own way too, depending on the RPG. Sir, I didn't, I didn't mean for this to happen. I'm sorry. This has always been a cop-friendly place. Uh, see what happens. See what happens. This is your fault, Gart. This is not my fault. This is entirely your doing. The drinks are on the house, okay? <gasps> there were a lot of drinks on the tab. I still have to charge you for three nights and the broken window, though. Uh, that's a hundred square. Yeah, that's still pricey, but I'm, I feel like we saved a lot of money on the drinks there, depending based on how the uh, bathtub was described. He's shaken. Barton now, and he'll cave in. Ooh. Ooh. I won't pay for that window. Oh. Okay, fine. I'll take it off your bill. Sleep in a post-apocalyptic hellhole if you want to. Just know I won't give you another room. Cool, man. Cool. Not entirely cool. You still owe me 60 real for three nights stay. If you don't have it by tonight, I can't let you back up there. And for God's sake, watch out for yourself. Alright, I need to... I gotta figure out how to heal. <laughs> I'm a little worried. We only have one more HP if I'm reading this right. And I don't want to die. Not, not yet. Not yet. You died three times before you got out of the motel. Jeez. <laughs> By the way, where is home? The address is coming up blank, and this place sure isn't it. Well, do I even have a home? Do superstars have homes, or do they just travel endlessly? But you've been at this hostel cafeteria for only three nights. Where were you before? You had to be somewhere. Uh, Marvel Hill sounds like a fancy place. Up on Marvel Hill. I also like that these are questions, and this is just like, screw it, yeah, that's what it was. Why did you say that? These are just synapses firing, it doesn't mean anything. The name must have some meaning for me. Uh, ooh, okay. Lieutenant Kitsuragi, do you know a place called Marvel Hill? No. But isn't that an expression, not a place? An expression? A saying, up on Marvel Hill, a great high place. One that is impossible to climb back to. Yeah, that sounds like where I live. That sounds very much like where I live, actually. <laughs> that doesn't sound like somewhere you can stay if you run out of money. I li I'll live in a dumpster. I don't care. Fuck everything. Hobo cop. Oh, God damn it. I might need to pick that just because of Hobo cop. Uh, could I trace the way back somehow to the exact street, the exact number on a building? Oh. I don't know if living in a dumpster is very suit. I don't. Man, damn. I, let's. We'll trace our way back at some point. This kind of goes with our. Uh, to me, it kind of goes with our logic, visual calculus, all that kind of stuff that we put points into. So it's a bit more. I think it's it's on on track. I think so. Hobocop is a trait you can earn. Oh my goodness. I wouldn't be surprised if at some point we have to sleep in a dumpster in this game. You can try. Run some addresses in your head when you get the time. Maybe a street or an apartment will appear. Okay. Now, actually, that makes me realize three hours and 37 minutes. I assume this isn't real time. I assume this uh, th this time is uh, 
uh, is like game time, like when you hit certain beats? Or can you just, can I just like idle for three and a half hours and I'll, I'll complete this thought? That's actually kind of interesting. Lonesome Long Way Home is what we just uh, unlocked. And I thought I thought I saw another one unlocked. Oh, weird. No, so just this and, and Lonesome Long Way Home, which would, oh, give us plus one to Encyclopedia. Let's rewind. Let's trace your drunken steps back home, jump across the raised channel bridge southwest of here, fall over, get up, get off the asphalt in 20 minutes, shuffle your feet through courtyards, scaring little children, go under the great raised motor tract, the 881, until you reach Le Domaine Eminon in North Jamrock. The streets are frozen this time of year, caked with ice. Walk down Main to Perdition. There's a side alley there and your footprints in the mud. I guess we should internalize this plus one to encyclopedia. Can't, uh, can't, can't complain about that. I don't think it advances if you're just idling. Okay. Yeah, let's let's internalize. I, it looks like we have one, two, three, four, five, six slots right now, and I suppose we could probably unlock more down the line. So yes, let's internalize that. We have a minus one to logic from this one and a plus one to encyclopedia from this one. Alright, very cool. This this not so cool. This is cool. This not so cool. Uh cool. Figure out what home is, I guess. Uh and uh just let's explore and make sure I don't miss anything. We've got this guy over here, we've got this interactive element down over here as well. Is that a bottle? Is it empty? A bottle of rum has been knocked over. Beautiful, dark liquid is spilling out. I hear him snoring. I don't know if the game audio is loud enough. Uh, Lonesome Long Way at Home is really good. Every time you progress dialogue, the clock ticks. Ah, okay, good to know. Uh, if only to see where this run takes you as different choices, failure, successes gives you different things to internalize. Oh, okay, interesting. Also. The game, the game seems a lot deeper and broader than I expected, and I, I guess that's one of the main reasons it's been called one of the greatest CRPGs, especially of recent times. Alright, a man is sleeping at the table, wearing mud cake boots and rolled down overalls. The back of his shirt reads, Wild Pines, encircled by a logo with a tree. On the counter, rolled out of his open hand, you see a blister pack of headache medicine. Ooh. Lieutenant, who is this? Pick up the pills or wake him up. I feel like I could use some headache medicine myself, so let's go ahead and grab grab the pills. What's yours is mine. Finders keepers. The man does not mind. You probably need them more than he does. Yeah. You've just picked up some magnesium. This item is stored in the bottom left corner of the screen above your character portrait. Use magnesium to heal your morale if you have morale damage. I was really hoping that it would help my uh, my health. I figured it was an item, but I was really hoping it was my health. Uh, Lieutenant, who is this? No idea. Looks like he works for Wild Pines, the logistics company who owns and operates the harbor. Okay, but why is he sleeping during the day? I'm one to ask that question. I'm sure I've done it. Possibly because there's a strike going on in the harbor. There's not much to do aside from drinking and sleeping. Huh? I'll try to wake him up. Uh, oh, this is interesting. Oh, that's really oh man, this game's fantastic. You know what? I gotta I gotta tell Miss Elite to play this game as well. She would love this stuff. Look at that. Plus one because of the ruckus while talking to Gart, and plus one because of crashing into the wheelchair. So even though we hurt ourselves and you know we failed that check and it went terribly wrong, here it makes sense that this guy's already a little you know, he's, he's already maybe a little more awake than he was had those things not happened. If I spoke to him sooner, I might not, have, I wouldn't have had those plus ones and the total to plus two is my assumption here. That's really cool, man. I know it sounds like I'm making a mountain out of a whole hit molehill, but like a lot of CRPGs don't do this stuff. The, I feel like I'm at the table right now. This is so cool. Let's wake him up. Well, let's try to wake him up. You gently shake his Damn. shoulder, but nothing happens. This man could probably sleep soundly in a ship's engine room. I thought we had a decent enough chance there. I should have waited. No, that was a red check, which means I can't try it again. So I guess we leave and he gets to stay in his reverie. Oh, that's so cool, though. That's so cool. Just the fact that it takes into consideration other events. Oh, man. All right. Uh... This way? Wait, which way out? He said he pointed west. How do I get out of here? Uh, oh, down here. Okay, awesome. What? It was a white. Was it a white check? I thought it was a red check. Oh, it was a white check. Uh, let me let me let me check. Uh, map. You know, you're right. Okay, my bad. I I I thought I saw. I'm 
clearly blind. <laughs> clearly blind. Oh, man, that was great. That was great. That was great. All right, let's get out of here. Let's take care of this uh, body. He won't be there after a certain point? Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's my bad. That's my bad. I, I, I thought I remembered it as a, as a red check. I was so enamored by the, uh, the plus ones that I was looking at. I guess that's where the body is, because that's the hole in the... Uh, in the in the in, in the fence, right? But oh, there's stuff to look at. All right, let's take a look at some of the stuff first. A heap of snow melts in the wheelbarrow. The street sign reads "Fuck the police." Oh, well, that's that's kind. That's sweet. <laughs> Pigs go home. The street name is illegible. Very well. Thanks for the warm welcome. Uh, I'm going to. Take a look at this. We're going to go check out the body, and then we'll come back and speak to these people. Because I want to see the crime scene before I get too far ahead. Saffron Picker. Welcome to Revishall. Is that an insult? Saffron Picker? Uh, goods from the lorry haphazardly litter the surroundings. Very well. And is this just an open sign? Closed for winter. Please use main entrance. Very well. All right, let's go check out the body, and then we'll speak to these people after we have an idea of what, uh, like, you know, what we might want to ask about. I think makes more sense. But first, let's take a look at this vehicle. Is this my car? Before you stands a motor carriage. The bodywork is covered in blue and white livery, bearing the number 57. Vapor emanates from the large engine on the back of the vehicle. It hasn't had time to cool off yet. This must be the infernal machine that toy from oblivion. The Caprice Kinema motor carriage. Cool, interesting. Trivial. I mean, super easy. Logic, again, is just putting two and two together. Look at these. this art, just chef's kiss, man. Open the door. Mm. Don't, don't, mind if I, don't mind if I do. In the cabin, you are welcomed by a set of steering levers, a radio microphone on a hook, a pull-out toolbox under the seat, and the soft glow of the fuel preheater gauge. Okay, I'm not going to report my, uh, my badge missing just yet. I, I want to see if I can do that when he's not around me so he doesn't catch me having lied to him, I guess. Um... <laughs> Seeing a lot of favorite game ever. Love this game so much. Yeah, I've only heard fantastic stuff. I'm excited to finally be playing it. I'm excited to finally be playing it. I've loved every minute of it so far. Uh, pull out the pull-out toolbox. Maybe there's something valuable inside. A metallic drawer slides out from under the seat and clicks into place. The tools inside are neatly organized. Take what you need, officer. It's going to be a long case. I'm not protective of my tools like some men are. He's clearly... A little protective <laughs> of his tools. But what can you do? Work is work. Uh, I love that. Um, take the red-tipped pry bar. Take the rubber-handled chain cutters. Take the hand-cranked flashlight. Or, or just close the toolbox. Oh, uh, man. I feel like all three of these are obviously useful. We saw the, the tip about, you know, if you can't get into a container, use a pry bar. Um... So why don't we go ahead and, and yeah, let's get the, let, let's take them all. The pry bar feels nice and cold in your hand, heavier than you'd think. Can I take them all? Useful for opening all sorts of doors and lids. I can't take them all. So look, he said, take what you need. And I know he's, you know, he, he wants to be protective um, a little bit, but, you know, work is work. I, I think that line of thinking makes perfect sense. We need these tools for our job, right? The handles are long and sleek. Snap, snap. Go the cutters in your hand. And the hand cranked flashlight, please. It's robust, weatherproof, and well made. Police issue, blue. Let's you see things in the dark you would otherwise miss. Oh, by the way, perception uh, is also passively, constantly checked passively. The higher your perception, the more stuff you'll notice uh, outside of conversation and stuff just when you're walking around. Let's go ahead and push in the pull-out toolbox. Pull toolbox slides back into its nest. Preheater gauge casts a warm glow on the steering levers and the radio on its hook. Let's uh, tap on the fuel preheater gauge. As you tap on the gauge, the indicator pin jerks as if startled. It's in the large orange sector, indicating the engine is warm. Next to the gauge is a red switch labeled heat. There's no use pressing the heat button. It won't start without the ignition key. Okay. Translation. We're not going anywhere, right? <laughs> Alternative translation. Don't even think you can drive my MC. 
Uh, I heard about this. I heard that a lot of times your multiple like uh, types of thinking, your multiple characteristics will interact with each other. It's like having the angel and the devil on your shoulders. I like that. Uh, very low stakes uh, opportunity to show that. So let's run our fingers over one of the steering levers. Oh, weird. It's one of the, it's like a, it drives like a tank kind of thing. The white suede feels luxurious under the touch and the metal clutch handle so very familiar in your palm. All right, we'll leave the radio for now. I don't want to get caught with my pants down. I already did that once. Good stuff. All right. Yeah, I can come back here. All right, good stuff. I, I, I'm hoping at one point I can, uh, I can kind of leave him behind or he'll be distracted or something and I can go and, and, and make that call. There are bottles inside. You could pick them up if you had a bag. All right, don't have a bag. Rue de Saint Guilaine, 8B. Are we in like a, a, like a pseudo France? A French uh, referential space, I guess. Everything's been super French. Oh no, child. Oh no. Uh, kid, get out of here. What the hell? It smells like spoiled meat and curdled dairy. A human being decomposes. Oh. Kuno's got this. The boy throwing rocks at the dead body can't be older than twelve. If there ever was such a thing as an ugly kid, oh. then this is it. He's almost exquisite in his ugliness, like a grim. <laughs> Yo, I'm going to use that at some point in my life. Exquisite in his ugliness. Jesus. I'm glad I took conceptualization so high up. <laughs> Spindle Quebec, clearly all the snow, all the snow, all the talk of revolution. Yeah, sounds about right. Here we go, says Jazzy. Oh, no. Here comes the boy. Oh, no. All right, here we go. Exquisite in his ugliness. Oh my god. Oh yeah, not a comfy Kuno. Yells the other kid behind the fence. Oh there he is. Jeez, I was like, what? Uh a moment of your time, please. Hey kid, a word. Police business. Right in the dick, Kuno. Get him right in the dick. <laughs> the children ignore you. It's love it in the dick. The boy is sweating profusely. His eyes are like two black holes and his jaw is twitching as if trying to break free from the empire of his body. <laughs> Hold on, what does that mean? The kid is obviously high. <laughs> uh, stop using slurs at my crime scene. That's not how we do it. Stop getting high at my crime scene. Um... I do find it interesting that the game has its limits as well, evidently. It's been cussing up and down, but it does have its limits, but it still uses uses character building opportunities, I guess. Um, stop throwing rocks at a dead body. Where's that option? Stop getting high at my crime scene. Fuck that! Kuno, yeah! Right in the mouth hole! <laughs> Yo, what the hell? Uh, oh! Na uh, Napa Kimpi, Na I'm butchering that pronunciation, means bullseye in Finnish. Thank you, Nico. <laughs> That's I thought it was just like some, like, <laughs> this is that horrible. I thought it was just like a, a made up word. And the kids, you know, cheer or chant or whatever. But uh, lo and behold, I guess it's Finnish. Thank you. Yeah, no, I mean, it's, uh, it, it's just, uh, Toby's, it's just, it's interesting to me because I wasn't expecting, uh, I wasn't expecting it, I guess. That's the only reason I'm, I'm pointing it out. Shits himself. No, that's that's come and piss you're smelling. God. The rake, Kuno! You should throw the rake at him, Kuno! The fuck? Does Kuno know what a rake is? Kuno's not a gardener. <laughs> How stupid are you, kid? He's 12, right? <laughs> uh, Kim, what should we do? Are you kids siblings? Kids, you want to hang out? I'm not a narc. <laughs> <laughs> Number one way to identify yourself as a narc. I'm not a narc. Look, I have questions for you. I don't have time for this. Um, uh, uh, da, 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 da. I'm not going to defer to Kim here. Uh, are you kid siblings? I'm trying to be a cop despite this nonsense. The fuck are you talking about? He's calling us fucks, Kuno. He says we're fucking each other. Jesus Christ. Look, I have questions for you. All right, entertain the Kuno. Show me what you got. What you got there? What you got, huh? Show me what you got. Oh my God, is there an option to punch this kid? Um, you kids often play in this yard? Right, pig. This is where Kuno plays with his little wooden choo-choo. 
What do you want with it? Okay, I might have questions later. For now, let's talk about something else. Yeah, whatever. Kuno doesn't give a shit. Spits over his shoulder and looks back up at you. Okay, the body. What do you know about it? Shitload pig. What's your question? Don't tell the pig shit, Kuno. Uh, Kim, help me out here. What do we want to know? <laughs> um, uh, he's choking. He's totally choking. Kim, help me out here, buddy. What do we want to know? I'm curious if, with different stats, you kind of have you do have questions to ask. But uh, Kim, buddy, if I were to want to waste my time, which I do not, I would ask them who he is, how he got there, and the usual. The usual being. Have you seen anything out of the ordinary? Or have you seen anything suspicious? Okay. Do you know who he was? Kuno's fucking. Kuno uses the fucking for target practice. I don't think we're gonna get anywhere with this conversation. Oh my goodness. He's trying to hide the fact that he doesn't know. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. So you don't know anything. Kuno knows all kinds of shit. Kuno's not a snitch. That's all. Trying to make the Kuno sing into the Popo phone. The Popo phone? Oh, that's pretty funny. Uh, okay, have you seen anyone suspicious around? I'm curious what he has to say about everything. Just a couple of pigs sniffing around in the dirt. That seems pretty fucking suspicious to Kuno. Josh says you you can get somewhere with this conversation. <laughs> very, very vague statement. I like it. Shoot the kid first chance. Yeah. <laughs> Tempted. Looks like you're a fagari now, whatever that means. The suspicious question doesn't really work in antagonistic situations. Thank you, Rhetoric. Is that also a finish? Uh, okay, do you know how he got up there? Probably climbed. Kuno was busy down the road when that shit went down. Ooh, okay, so you didn't see it happening. You heard Kuno. Kuno wasn't even in Martinez. Kuno wasn't in Revachol. Kuno wasn't regional. Okay, where did you go? I don't know. Some fucking... He looks around, trying to come up with something. Oh, cuff him. Mesk or... or I don't know. Some other place. Night City. Kuno is in fucking Night City. Oh, Cyberpunk 2077 crossover. Uh, the kid is... Scouse and would be a typical scallywag, as they say. Oh, it is slang, Nico? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was, I was half-joking. There is no Night City anywhere. That sounds like the name of a city in some pulp science fiction novel. All right, kid. You know what? You're going to be a smart ass. All right. Where is Night City? Kuno gives this info out on a need to know basis. And you don't need to know. Kuno didn't smoke the gimp, if that's what you meant. All right, fine. More on this later. Right now, let's talk about something else. You're testing Kuno's patience here. Get lost. Uh... Oh man, <laughs> who is Kuno Deep? Uh, I have more questions about the crime scene. Yeah, the kingdom of Kuno. The fuck do you want with it? Okay, I guess I don't. Yeah, whatever. I want to discuss Kuno the body with you, Kuno. The fuck about it? Oh, okay. I guess Your that's everything. Testing Kuno's patience. Yeah. Get lost. All right, fine. Who is Kuno? Kuno's Kuno pig. The boy points to his chest with both thumbs. So, you refer to yourself in the third person? The fuck are you calling a third person? Kuno's the fucking first person? <laughs> Alright, yo, that's... <laughs> this kid. Like, I hate this kid, but he's so well written. <laughs> Watch out, Kuno! He's trying to fiddle you! He's gonna put his hands on you! The thing behind the fence starts squealing, shrill and violent like a fire alarm. The sound gets louder as the child shouts at the windows overlooking the yard. Oh my god. Help! He's got the Kuno help! Oh, god damn it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just answer the questions. Help! He's digging his dick out! Oh my god. Escalate, Kuno! His dick is out! You're afraid! Pigs in there in Kuno! Somebody, please! It's full blast now. The wind carries the message far and wide across Martinez. 
what is this sick charade? Uh, who put you up to this? Are you high right now? Shut him down. Don't punch him. It's a bad idea. We're probably going to fail this, but uh, I think it's the right call. I think it's the right call. I couldn't hate him this much if he was poorly written. Exactly, because like to, to get this kind of a visceral response, he's got to be well written. So well written that I got to shut this shit down. Come on. Come on, baby. Oh, no. Oh, no. Am I dead? Wait. <laughs> oh, no. You feel something in your chest. An unnatural pressure. It's spreading to your left arm. Your jaw. So... <laughs> I'm guessing this is bad. Very, very bad. This is the end. Bad. I'm gonna try to remain conscious. All you feel is pain and weakness. You have to surrender now. We all do. It gets so dark. You don't even see her face, like you always thought you would. You only see pain and fear. Cop suffers final heart attack. A detective lieutenant of the RCM passed away yesterday. His death, though abrupt, did not come as a surprise to those who knew him. He was the heaviest <laughs> I'd ever met. Captain Ptolemy Price, the deceased superior officer, commented, that ain't easy on the ticker. He loved his liquor, sure, said Detective Chester McLean, friend and colleague. But I think before he ever had a heart attack, his heart was broken. According to an official statement given by the RCM, the officer was on the brink of solving a murder case. I love this game. <laughs> I, I love this game. <laughs> it's goddamn brilliant. Are you kidding me right now? I died trying to punch a snotty kid. Are you for real right now? That's amazing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm glad we have our, uh, our, our autosave over here. Um, I, I forget exactly where it saved. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, did we, did we already speak to this guy? Uh, what are my, what are my tasks? No, we did not yet interview this guy. All right, so we have to interview this guy again. Um, and I'm going to save, after the long conversation, I'm going to save. We're, we'll do the same decisions. We're not going to change any of that. We'll go back to the body outside, and, and, and then I'll save. There's a save option, right? Yes, there is. I, got, I need to... I should have checked this first. Anytime a game has quick save this prominently, it means you need to use it often. Uh, but I will keep that in mind moving forward. Uh, in a in a in a in a fun sort of a way, that's disco baby says Voidheart, ain't it? <laughs> ain't it? Uh, now now, Jazzy, I didn't die punching a twelve year old. I died missing a twelve year old. <laughs> My goodness! But folks, um, the timing was actually rather perfect. Uh, Friday streams are typically two hours long, a bit more chill. Uh, if I hadn't died there. I might have kept going for, for a little bit longer. Like, it might have gone for another hour because it's just completely drawing me in this game. But I think uh, with with the death there, we'll, we'll call it here today. And you know what? I, it kind of works out nicely because then when we kick off the session uh, next week on Friday, we got a bit of a recap over here as we dive in and, and start exploring some, uh, some, some new stuff. Um, but uh, man, um, wow, I was not expecting that. Uh, I was not expecting that. I <laughs> didn't mean to overestimate. Uh, you know... I, I'm loving this. I, I hope you guys enjoyed today's session as well. Again, going in completely unfamiliar with the game, uh, learning as we go uh, that, that you can apparently, for example, die out of completely nowhere having a heart attack. I thought the, the newspaper article ending was definitely a, a nice way to do it. Uh, but uh, but yeah, I think we'll... Uh, oh, yeah, no, no. This is, so Friday streams are always there, kind of two hours long. Um, but we'll be back next Friday. I might I might make them longer though with this game. I feel like we might uh, we might make them longer in the future. But today I've unfortunately got a pretty stacked uh, schedule. There's a lot going on this week and next week in the world of strategy gaming that I need to get on top of so I can uh, I can get some videos done uh, for the channel. But we will be back. I might extend these to be three hour streams instead, uh, just because this game I, I feel like two hours might be a little too short. But uh, we'll be back next week on Friday, folks. Same time. That's 10 a.m. Eastern. Uh, if you had a good time today, don't hesitate to hit that like button on your way out. Uh, if you aren't already in the Discord or you don't follow me on Twitter, those are great places to keep up to date with the schedule. And again, the Discord is a great place to hang out with some great people. Links to both of those are in the description 
uh, down below. Yeah, if uh, if I hadn't died, I would have probably kept going. But it's a good it's a good like pause point. It, you know, it forces the break, which is why I'll, I'll call it here. But I think yeah, we're gonna make these three hour streams every Friday starting at 10 a.m. Eastern uh, until we finish at least our first playthrough, and then there might be another one. Um, again, folks, if you aren't already a subscriber, subscribe because there's gonna be plenty of this, and yes, more CRPGs. Typically, I do a lot of uh, RPGs, strategy games, management games, sim games on the channel. That's kind of like the focus. If you're not familiar with the channel, uh, but uh, yeah, good uh, good vibes today. That was a lot of fun, folks. Uh, as always, uh, no session is truly over until I can give a massive thanks to all of the channel members and patrons who've been supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Whether you're joining me live or you're watching the VOD afterwards, again, don't hesitate to let me know what you think either way down below. Uh, it's about 20 to 30 hours total to finish the game, maybe 40 if you manage to do all the things in a single run. Okay, so maybe we should go up to three-hour sessions on, on, on Fridays. Honestly, it's kind of tempted to do even more. The thing is, this week leading into next week, uh, this weekend as well, is like super crunchy for me. So I, I'm not as like, unfortunately, not as flexible. Uh, but but I think moving forward, I can definitely extend these to three hours. And if it if it if it... If they all go the way this one went, I might even do four hour streams to be perfectly honest. This was a lot of fun. Three hours is perfect, just mentally draining game, and you want to savor it. That's also true. If you go too long, I, I definitely want to savor this game. There's a lot to savor is the perfect word for it. The perfect word for it. Um, damn. This was, this was great. I've only played like a fraction of the game, and I'm immediately in love. Immediately in love. Josh, you got cheated out of a completionist run? Oh no. Or, 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 oh, you cheated out of completion. I thought you said you got cheated out of one. That would have been, that would have been upsetting. Uh, but folks, thank you for coming through. Hope you enjoyed the stream. We'll be back again, like I said, Friday, 10 a.m. Eastern. Same time as today. Uh, and we're going to continue the story, hopefully without dying. We'll make the same decisions up until the one that killed us, obviously. We'll approach that a little differently, because otherwise we'll just be stuck in a time loop. But uh, folks, have yourself a wonderful rest of your Friday. Have yourselves a wonderful weekend. There's a lot of fun stuff coming out uh, next week on the channel. A lot of interesting things going down. There's also going to be a stream on Monday, back to Crusader Kings 3, continuing our story, uh, basking in glory. That'll continue on Monday, again, 10 a.m. Eastern. And then we'll, we might have a surprise stream in the middle of the week next week and then friday of course we are back with this like i said oh there's a lot of a lot of rambling there folks have yourselves a wonderful rest of the day have yourselves a wonderful weekend and until i catch you next cheers <laughs>